Live day trading penny stocks using thinkorswim, TD Ameritrade, live day trading uh, low full small cap stocks, day trading live stream every single day from 9 a.m. till noon, day trading live the hot stocks of the day straight from the watch list. Right now I'm looking at LJPC. So stock LJPC is moving. Good morning, everybody. My computer, I updated my computer to w this Windows 10 and it's lagging so bad today. My computer's lagging so bad. I don't know what's going on. Every time I click a button, it takes me, look at that. Look at, I can't even click on nothing. Look at, oh my gosh, my computer is switch back i'm gonna have to uninstall the new windows update man <laughs> i don't know what's going on but I, my computer is running so freaking slow man anyways good morning today's friday i'm glad to be here you know there was a black friday on october 13th 1989 it's friday the 13th man we're gonna have to be careful today day trading live every single day from 9 a.m till noon good morning okay let me get through my stuff if i can my buttons are so slow today look at that i i just pressed a button again and it will not work oh there it goes boom so 2020, day 50 of the Monkey Army March, all the way up, survive till we thrive. That is the name of the game. Survive till we thrive, man. <laughs> survive till we thrive. I think I should buy toilet paper. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Danny. You probably could sell that on eBay right now. Survive till we thrive. Okay, so today I have a little more things I have to get through, so I'm going to try to hurry up. If you are trading the pre-market, just like o uh, Healthy or Health says, OPK, I don't trade. OPK, but they uh, lab launch testing Friday, expecting to start with about a thousand to two thousand tests a day. By a reference, expects to eventually ramp up to ten thousand tests a day. That's OPK. I, it has a little bit higher float than I like to trade. According to Yahoo Finance, OPK has a 411 million float, so I don't trade it. But anyways, maybe you guys, that could be a good one. My next thing I'm going to go through is adding money. I save $5 each and every day, saving $5 each and every day. So far, I have $20. As soon as I get to $100, I add it into my Thinkorswim TD Ameritrade account, a cash account. Right below that are donate. Some of you guys have been kind enough to donate. Thank you guys. You guys know I'm not a rich man. Right below that, I'm saving for a CMEG account. When my Thinkorswim account gets to $3,000, I'm going to open a CMEG account. And, and when my CMEG account gets to $3,500, I will also open a TradeNet account just to test that out, see how that works out. But there we go with that. My next thing I have to go through as the monkey army who's in the monkey army number one are keychain holders if you are wondering what keychains are there's a link in my description there's only one through 99 of them as soon as we sell 99 of them uh, we're going to do a $500 giveaway plus those keychains are good for they're going to be good for future giveaways and a whole bunch of other stuff Anyways, there's a link in the description right below that number two are people that have donated is in the monkey army Of course, and uh, if you donated one through twenty dollars, you're in the chimp category C 21 through 50 the baboon B's and 51 through 99 the A's the A's and a hundred plus I just put you straight into the boom category and number three, if you're a subscriber to the channel, you are definitely in the monkey army. We're going to the top. We're going parabolic. We're going all the way up, man. And, and monkey army fund right now has $71 in it. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I put 20% of the ad revenue directly into the monkey army fund. So the giveaway so far, we had uh, we gave away the golden power keychain. Number two was the $100 ad revenue. And number three is coming in the future. And monkey army fund future maybe affiliate link sponsorship scanner invent whatever down there eventually things are gonna be good okay there we go the next thing I gotta go through is my trades yesterday I had a red day of minus five dollars and 91 cents I took nine trades five wins four losses 55% win rate my average winner was 17 cents my average loser was 13 cents Wins and losses in the total number of cents yesterday, if I would have actually traded the same amount of shares 
shares across the board. I would have actually had a green day yesterday, but I didn't. I dumbed down my share size. I did some uh, bad, bad stuff. Okay, right there. The next thing I have to go through, you guys know, I shout you from the rooftops. I shout you out loud. You got These are the people I've donated. Thank you, man. Just like I always say, I'm not a rich man. Every single dollar that comes to this live stream stays with this live stream. Every single dollar helps. Every single dollar gets us where we're going. We're going to be up there. There's going to be money laying all over the place pretty soon. We're going to spread it out. We're going to spread it up. I'm going to do the best I can. That That's all I can say. But you guys know that. That my last and final thing is you guys know I have a small vocabulary. So far, we've been learning words each and every week. This week, the word is coterie, a group of people who associate closely, an exclusive group, a clique, a monkey army, basically, the monkey army. Coterie. And so far throughout the weeks, the words we've been learning all these weeks were sedulous, mollify, persnickety, incessant, boondoggle, autodidact, plenitude, adherence, scintillating, and now this week was coterie. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. If you are trading the pre market, there's a LJ. Oh, uh, AYTU is on my hot, hot stocks, De uh, Dean Simmon. Uh, if a AYTU hits three dollars in the next week, I'll date, I'll donate fifty dollars to you, Dean Simon. I, I'm waiting for it. Thank you, man. That means a lot. That means a lot. Every single dollar. Thank you, man. Every single. Thank you. You guys know I'm not a rich man. Eventually, uh, this is going to be a good, good thing. We're going to do great things for a lot, everybody, as much as I can, man. We're going to do it. We're going to, I'm, I'm going to try to figure out how we can make our money grow and then grow our money. And then we're going to do good stuff. That's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. Uh, Francis Deans. Good morning. all. Oh, DH gang. What's the range on OPK? Not very good. The OPK, the range is not good. What, what do I, I didn't even write down the range on OPK on the one minute chart. There's a little range from 202, 207, about six, seven cents a minute, 10 cents. Uh, OPK just has this one's kind of a grinder if it did go up I I don't know I, I I'm not gonna trade this one maybe it is oh the next thing I got to go through is I did take some pre-market trades I'm gonna show you my pre-market trades look at my buttons they won't work I click my buttons and they're stuck look at that Oh, there, man, this thing is so laggy. I updated my computer. I should have never done that. Look at this. Settings. Look, I clicked on settings and it's just stuck. Stuck. Settings. Click. Click. Look at that. Reboot. I'm going to have to reboot, man. Anyways, the stock market's a little bit sketchy right now. I'm probably not going to be taking many trades today. What what am I doing here? Show trades, apply. Okay, boom. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to blow up this chart so we can see it. I did not take no trades on LJPC, but I'm going to... Uh, oh, man, look at this thing. So laggy. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Let me shrink my head down. My trades hap happened on, uh, where did my trades happen on? IBIO. I took a trade on IBIO this morning. I'm going to show, I want you guys to see all my trades, man. You're th I'm lagging so bad, horrible. Hopefully I don't do it. Look at this. I bought two shares. Here we go. Let me uh, Let me put this on the one minute chart so we can blow it up a little bit. So I bought two shares at a dollar seventy-five right here, right around seven o'clock, right there. Uh, two dollar, a uh, dollar seventy-five. I bought two shares. I sold one of those shares at a dollar eighty-four, and then I sold my other share up towards a dollar ninety-four. So my average uh, winning was uh, two dollar uh, eighty-nine. So I got about plus fourteen cents on two shares average. My my next trade my next trade happened on CODX CODX I only took two trades this morning in the pre market CODX CODX I bought one share at ten dollars and sixty cents Let me blow this up for you Boom I bought one share at two Oh whoa at ten dollars and sixty cents which was right here 
my if I would have I did not buy two shares because it would cost so much and I don't want to use my settled cash. If I would have bought two shares, my profit target, my ultimate profit target was twelve sixty, believe it or not. But anyways, I bought one share at ten dollars and sixty cents. I sold my one share at eleven dollars and thirty cents. My first profit target was eleven dollars and sixty cents. My risk was right down here at nine dollars and fifty-five cents. So I had basically a dollar risk, a dollar profit target, and then a two dollar profit target for my ultimate profit target. My ultimate profit target was twelve sixty. Anyways, I took two green trades on this. Let's look at C A N F. C A N F. Boom. Or oh, never mind. Let let me shrink this down a little bit. Restore cells. Boom. C A N F. What's going on? Look at me. Am Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on with this thing. I, I may have to reboot, man. I seriously may have to reboot. What is going on? I, I did the I did the update yesterday the day before yesterday and everything was fine. Everything was working fine. I don't know. Oh there, did you see how fast it happened? Also happened to me. Uh, Willie, PB, what happened, man? Oh, I wanted to show you my profit. Uh, let, let me go to those uh, CODX. I got 70 cents per share on CODX. On uh, Where was my other one at? CODX. Uh, IBIO right here. IBIO. And I got 28 cents on IBIO. So about 14 cents a share on that one. AYTU. I thought about taking a trade at a dollar forty-nine down here, but I didn't. I was going to take a trade in the pre-market down here. I really do like AYTU today, and I like LJPC. I believe that one has to do with the uh, coronavirus. Also, L let's look at the spy real quick, and we'll do this. Okay, so here we go. Oh, that's the one-minute chart. Let me put that on the five-minute chart. Come on, ah. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Terry, morning, monkey traders. Hit the like, like, like. If you guys could, please hit the like button. YouTube loves it, and I love it, too. Thank you. We've been getting right up towards 100 likes a day, and it means so much. YouTube loves it, and I love it, too. Thank you, ma'am. We've been doing good stuff. We're growing each and every day. I just want to tell you guys, my main focus on starting this live stream was just to learn from you guys and just I know everybody says that same thing I love making videos I love doing this I love doing that yeah whatever man <laughs> but truthfully truthfully that's what I started with and where I'm gonna make my money is day trading low float small cap stocks that's why I'm trading the stock market if I was not trading the stock market I would not even have this live stream I promise <laughs> I would just shut it on down that's the truth I'm not here for nothing then I'm just here for the I'm, I'm here for you guys man <laughs> good morning Ricardo open TOS I got a message that's performing slowly yeah but not just TOS my whole computer when I open websites when I look around when I do stuff it's uh, it's all doing the same thing it's just my computer is lagging after this live stream I may I may not take trades today if I was going to take some trades it would be on CODX CODX and LJPC are my top two stocks. There's EROS is also moving. We know this one. Train Monkey, like, thank you, Roland B. That means a lot. Futures halted to the upside. Clean your windows registry. I'm going to write that down, Willie. Clean my windows registry. I need to put that on a different piece of paper, though. I'll put it over here. Uh, clean your windows. Win windows registry. I'll try. Or I'll, I'll tell somebody, actually. <laughs> Windows registry. Okay, registry. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. Okay, I, I got to get this thing up and running. I don't know what's going on, why it's so slow like that. So what are your top stocks for the day? POAI ended up just sinking right down, back down right where it came from. My top stocks for the day are basically I have CANF, LJPC, AYTU and CODX. Actually, I'm going to put those up there right now. I I'm going to tell you my watch list right now because this is my watch list right now. CODX, uh, LJPC, LJPC, boom, AYTU, AYTU, and where, oh, was it IBIO also? Oh, IBIO also, IBIO. 
IBIO. Uh, I'm leaving a kind of a big watch list this morning because I'm doing it a little bit early because you guys know we follow the volume. That's what we're going to do. Follow the volume. Wherever the volume is, that's where we're going to go. Day trading low flow small cap stocks is all about trading momentum. You got to get in there quick. Got to get your money. Day trade, you trade your plan and plan your trade. C-A-N-F is moving a little bit. C-A-N-F, O-P-K. Yeah, Darren alone, O-P-K is a good one. They do have some coronavirus tests. They're doing tests just like Healthier Hill said. That one's a really good one. It just doesn't have the range. That would be, you would be, to me, I would be lucky to get five, six cents out of a trade on that. I would have to hold on a little bit longer than I would want. It, it looks like a good trade. It could be a good trade on the long side, on the short side. I, I don't know, but it looks like a good trade. It looks like there will be some good action on it, possibly. The daily average volume is 13 million. In the pre-market, it's already had 7.8 million, 7.8 million shares traded. If I was going to take a trade, where would I take it? Oh man, I don't know. It wouldn't be right here though. I, I Sometimes I do take this trade. I take this right here for that quick push up, but Look how far it moved in this minute, though. It moved a 211, seven cents right there. That's only seven cents. Like, if you seen the same move on POAI yesterday, that would be like 50 cent move. That would be like $2 move on there. <laughs> reboot, Trader Parker. I need to reboot. Yeah, reboot. Sorry to keep asking, but anyone see the name change on SPEX and know any info? And know any info? Uh... I, I don't. I don't right now. I don't. I know. I know SPEX though. There's TOPS. Do you see all those? I, I seen a stock on here. Look at this. Wait, what was it? Uh, Val. I think it was Val, wasn't it? Yeah. Or no, NCL. NCL. Where is that one? A lot of these stocks are going straight down. A lot of these, man, there's going to be some great opportunity if you have a if you have a longer term account there's going to be some great great opportunities in the stock market as soon as they solve this coronavirus there's going to be some awesome opportunities there's going to be a lot of money made a lot of money made who knows maybe it won't bounce back as much as people think maybe it will just grind slowly over time but your money's going to be safe i believe it when they solve the coronavirus s-i-n-t to the moon baby s-i-n-t trader parker says to the moon man sorry to keep asking reboot i i'm thinking uh we can catch a nice bounce on quite a few bigger names today for trade yeah paul de bald i i like your look right there that that is so true i i really do like that one too yeah, I'm not going to trade. I, this, I trade only low float small cap stocks on this account. This is what I do. This is what I look for. I'm going to grow this account to $1 million. Those are the last words I'm going to say about that. That's all I have to say about that, man. <laughs> so order set, man, C-A-N-F. I think C-A-N-F has to do with the flu also, doesn't it? Yeah. They're exploring. They're exploring. They're doing a collaboration. Something C A N F. You will say it again. Try this free window registry repair. Maybe I I will later. I'm not gonna do it right now during the live stream. If the live stream's working just fine, I'm fine with that. I'm not gonna get caught up. Sometimes my mind will go down a rabbit hole and I just won't find my way back out. And then you guys will be going, what the heck? The market's already been trading three hours and I'm still trying to run down the rabbit hole and I'll never find my way out. That's one thing about my personality. Sometimes I'm so meticulous, I'll keep on grinding, grinding it all the way into the dirt, man. And I'm just not going to do that right here today. <laughs> Monkey, delete the folder. User uh, GUI and error message on TOS. Right click on TOS. I can apply. Oh, okay. And delete those two things. I will, just not right now. I'm sorry. I just can't do it, man. <laughs> I can't do it right now. I know myself too well, man. SRN. E, very possible has the COVID-19 killer. I'm not pumped. Oh yeah, Paul DeBald. I actually SRNE was another one I was looking at. Where is that one? SRNE right here. 
Right, SRNE is another good one, man. Let's not lose money today. Yeah, I lost $5 yesterday. I'm going to be very careful today. I'm really going to step in there. I've already made a dollar today just in the pre-market, just on three shares, man. I could have, man. I, I was about to size into the CODX trade. I really was going to size into that thing this morning in the pre-market, but I did not want to waste my... I did not want to waste my uh, settled cash, man. I only have a little bit of settled cash, and my best time to trade is throughout the market open, and uh, that's what I do. That's what I look for. Those are my best stats. I know what I look for. Buy the dip, sell the rip, the first pullback, a range trade, uh, drop, fake, and pop, boom, open, washout, boom, and the VWAP test. Those are the trades I look for each and every day, man. <laughs> each and every day. It takes one minute to do uh ricardo i i know i i could do it i i could do it but you guys know how slow i'm so slow on things it takes me a while i need to understand what i'm actually doing man i have to understand what i'm doing sometimes i just i it's just something i'm sorry man i i should do it real quick my computer's working all, all just fine i shouldn't even have cried about it to you guys i shouldn't even have cried about it because then you guys go well let's fix the problem and that's what I love about this live stream. There's so many people, if there's a problem, let's fix the problem, man. That's what you do. That's how you get through life right there. You guys have the answer inside of you right now. If there's a problem, let's fix it, man. Let's fix it. Let's get up. Put your shoes on. Let's go. What, what are you waiting for, man? Exactly. Ricardo Zapata, I hear you, man. <laughs> Morning, Monkey Jim Matterhorn. Let's do this. Candlesticks on AYTU, almost identical to CODX from January 28th to the first week of February. Dean Simon, good look on AYTU. Great, great look. There's a couple stocks, INO and CODX, for some reason, I don't know, if it's the same people, heads, whatever's in there, are, are move. It's a, it's doing the same kind of movement. I I don't know. It, it may be. I could be totally fabricating that. Remember to check your own facts. All that sort of stuff. He's streaming. Do it after monkey hours. Yeah, do it after monkey hours. That's what I'm going to do. Got to fix you. Not a chance, Will Forbes. I I hear every when I, when I cut when I'm done with the live stream today, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna read through that and I'm gonna look. I'm gonna repair. I'm gonna fix. Look, repair, refix, man. <laughs> Monkey, thoughts on GASL? Let, let's look at GASL, man. GASL, GASL, boom. GASL. Here we go. GASL. What is going on? 1.5 million daily average. Let's go to the daily chart. Look at the daily chart. Come on. Here we go. Whoa, look at that one. Just daily natural gas. I don't know. I I have no... I would have to look into some more things on this. I can't just look off a chart pattern on something like this. I need to know a little bit more what's going on in the world. But, uh, but anyways... Oh man, I I really don't have a look on this on this one. I don't. I I don't know either way. Look, it looks like it's going up in the pre market. It has gapped up. It's up thirty seven percent. Up thirty seven percent. It looks like. So I don't know. I'm just not sure. I'm sorry. I I don't know about this one. I just don't. I just just don't, man. I don't, I don't want to say one way or the other way. If I'm leaning towards a direction and I can look at a chart and I can go, okay, I'm leaning towards this side. This is where I think the easier money is. I will definitely open my mouth. But if I'm just not real sure either direction and just I would need some more information to make me an educated guess, I, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. I'm, I just am, man. Thanks, Chief. You're welcome, Jim Matterhorn. That, that's the only thing. Good morning. Uh, Zona J is watching OPK, BRZU, LJPC. I think LJPC, let me look at that one again. Yeah, LJPC is my top, top stock. Look at BOXL just popped up a little bit. We've traded this one many times in the past. This thing can really get moving. This thing is always a pump and dump, though. Let's look on the yearly chart. Look at that. Boom. Look at those long wicks. We actually traded it back here on this day. 
Look at that. Not too long ago. What day was that? January, February 6th. I've traded that last time. I need to get my trades out of here, man. Come on. Oh, no. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm not complaining around here. Okay, settings. Settings. Setting. Okay, there we go. Show trades off. Apply. Okay, boom. Here we go, man. Okay. And you guys know, if I don't read your words right through the live stream, I'm sorry. I missed some great stuff yesterday. I, I went through the live stream a little bit yesterday, and I missed some great, great things, man. What some of you guys were saying. Some of you guys were saying about toilet paper, some funny things. I wish I would have read, man, and some stuff. Zona J was talking about the toilet paper. Look at B-O-X-L is kind of moving a little bit. So, uh... This one, um, BRZU is ripping in pre-market. Why do I not see that one? I'm going to pull that one up. BRZU, BRZU, boom. Let's look at this one. BRZU, BRZU, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I, I'm not, never mind. I'm not looking at that one. I, I try to stick to the companies, the stocks, actually. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, Josh Allen, it sure is. Good morning, everyone. Big bounce market day. Big bounce market day, man. Big bounce. Yeah. Oh, let's look at the SPY real quick. Sorry, guys. The market's going to open in three minutes already. Anyone that's here for the very first time, what you're seeing in front of your very eyes is my one-minute chart, five-minute chart, 15-minute chart. Level two time sales. This is my active trader where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. I want to go back on the 20-year chart real quick and show you this. Well, look at this. See this trend line I drew right there? I know it's hard for you guys to see. See that trend line on the 20-year chart? It's trying to bounce off of that. If it gets below that 240s, 250s right there, I don't know. That that is this is the bounce point. It needs to bounce right where it came that 248, 250. If it doesn't bounce there, I'm 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 getting a little nervous if it that's the last case scenario. That's the last bounce spot right there to me. To me, anyway, I, I drew that trend line off the monthly chart, man. Okay, so what am I going to look for? Y-U-M-A, Y-U-M-A, okay, no, L-J-P-C, L-J-P-C. So I'm going to watch L-J-P-C out of the market gate. I need to take a deep breath. And take a drink of coffee. Take a deep breath and take a drink of coffee. We have about one minute. Thank you guys for being here. I've been a lot, a little shook out up these last couple days. I've been super busy, but I did have some time yesterday. And with the Power Hour live stream, I'm not real sure. AYTU also is my top stock. C-O-D-X, AYTU, I-B-I-O, L-J-P-C. I think I'm just going to stick with L-J-P-C for right now. What would I be looking for? It would be a shake and shudder right where it's sitting at, right by the $5, a shake and shudder. AYTU could start moving. Too, but we're going to have to see. I'm going to be a little bit patient in the stock market. IBIO is starting to push. It did the washout down there. So let's go. What is going on? IBIO. Okay, market's going to... Oh, here we go, Dave, Matt. Let's go, man. Thank you guys for being here with me this morning. Thank you. IBIO, it looks like a good one. I, actually, I'm going to go over to IBIO. IBIO. IBIO out the market open. A IBIO is my top stock right now. Boom, boom, boom. 50 shares. Let's see what's happening. IBIO LJPC. Ding, 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 ding. The market is open. Um, um, oh, look at LJPC is all the way up there. Man, I am lagging so bad. LJPC did a shake and shudder right there, man. Shake and shudder, LJPC. Oh, man. I am lagging so bad right now. Man, that was a perfect shake and shudder. If you could get in and get out, that would have been a great, great move. So LJPC looks like the top stock to me right now. There's ZAGG just popped up there. ZAGG is starting to move a little bit. It's at 335. 335. Boom, boom, boom. LJPC, yep. And, and I'm keeping an eye on AYTU. 
AYT, yo, what's going on with the spy? Is that 263? What is going on, man? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let me blow this up a little bit so I can see it. Let me blow this up. Let me shrink that down. Oh, man. What am I looking at? How am I doing this? Look at this. Going down, down, down. Down, down, down. 466. Oh, no. I, I tried to buy right there when it was down there. I tried to buy 20 shares, but my computer's lagging bad. My computer's lagging bad. Oh, my gosh. This could be a bad one for me. I tried to buy down by the 470s. You see, you see the support down there by the 460s? So I tried to buy 20 shares down there, but who knows if I got filled? Who knows if I got filled? I'm going to leave it out there for a little bit. Leave it out there. Who knows? I could have a horrible day today. This thing could wreck me right on down, but it's okay. We'll, we'll see how this works out. Cancel all. I'm going to cancel because I did not get filled. I don't know. Maybe I'm filled. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm filled and maybe I'm not right there. Stop watching stuff you shouldn't on your primary PC. <laughs> I'm not watching nothing. I, I think it's a new Windows 10 update, man. The new Windows 10 told you to reboot. Dang, you don't listen. I know. I should have. INO is starting to push a little bit. I think CODX may catch its feet. INO is pushing up towards the 830s. Up towards the 830s, man. Up towards 8.30. So what else is moving? B-O-X-L is at 75 cents. B-O-X-L. Man, B-O-X-L. I-N-O is at 8.37. It's starting to push up a little bit. So we'll, we'll see what's happening. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, 4.98. 4.98. Oh, man. 4.98. 5.08. Boom. 4.98. Man, I couldn't, I, I don't know how I got filled at 498. My computer's lagging so bad. I should have been in at 480, 480, 478 or something. Boom, boom, boom. 498, 498, 498. Come on, man. Get up there, 498. I, I'm I'm gonna have to I don't know this is not good for the home team right here 498 471 471 oh my gosh four seventy here we go again here we go again boom 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 470, 498. What a horrible fill. How'd I even get filled right there? That thing didn't even come up there, man. That didn't even go up there. 498. 498. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. 471, 470. Mm. TOS is glitch. It's my computer, I think. I think it's my computer this time. HTBX is pushing. It looks like HTBX is pushing a little bit. HTBX. So let's go look at that one. HTBX. HTBX. Man, HTBX, if OPK bouncing off the lows of 177, OPK, so that's another good one. CODX is right down on the $11. Is it going to bounce off the $11 right there? We'll have to see. Man, I cannot believe. My computer was lagging so bad. I think I'm lagging again. What is happening? Look at this. I'm frozen, man. I, th I think it is your computer. Your stream is jumping a bit too, for me at least. Oh, man. It it's bad, man. It is bad. It's bad, bad, bad. 
there's 471, 471, 471, or ah, oh, 612. Man, I it is my computer. It's got to be my computer, man. It's got to be my computer. GLBS, look at that going down, down, down. 447, 447, 437, 447. Uh, it's going a little faster now. 447, 457, 447, 57. I, I, I bought uh, 20 more shares at 447 right there. At 447, I bought 20 more shares right there. 447. Boom. I, I sold 10 of my shares at 4. Oh, man. Look at that. 442. 447. 449. Come on. I sold 10 of my shares at 447 or 457. 457. My next profit target is up towards 470s. Up towards the 470s right there. I don't know what I'm doing today. I, I shouldn't even be trading with my computer so bad with my computer so bad man x is t o s and do what i told you to do i'm gonna have to man i probably will have to in a minute 447 448 447 453 453 come on man what is happening ljpc ljpc this is my second shot on this so we'll have to see what's 489. 489, 467, bump, 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 460, 460, 460, I'll sell five more shares at 460 for plus 13 cents, for plus 13 cents, I sold, I sold five more for plus uh, 14 cents. I'm going to hold the last one up a little bit higher. Hold the last one up a little bit higher, but I'm going to keep my stop down here. We'll, we'll keep my stop down there at 436, 434, 435, 434. I'm putting a hard stop in there. A hard, hard stop, man. I don't see anything to trade much volume. Yes, I don't either, man. I just don't see it too much. LJPC, I'm taking a little bit of trade. IBIO did a great little washout. Sorry, guys, for uh, my computer. I'll have it working later on. I shouldn't even have took a trade today, but that's okay. This should have been a green trade. My first trade should have been a green trade. I would have got in at 480. I would have sold my first shares at 490, and then I would have put my stop right there. So that would have been a break-even trade or a small winning trade. And now I made it a losing trade because I was lagging so bad. I just lagged and lagged and lagged, man. I just wasn't sure. So BOXL is moving. BOXL is at 79 cents right now. GLBS. So what is happening with this one? BOXL. BOXL, man. CODX, yes, CODX is down by 1080s now. Man, I thought it was going to bounce closer off that $11 right there. Right off that $11, man. 457, just scalp the shit out of it. G Santy said, good job, man. You're doing good stuff. So here's BOXL. I'm watching this one. LJPC, don't count that one out. If you bought a limit not at market, then TDA can reverse the transaction. I, I did, I, no, I bought a market order, but my market order, I seen it. I always look on the ask when I'm going to buy a market order. So I know where I'm going to get filled basically, but my computer was lagging. So by the time my order went through, it had already bounced all the way up back up to $5. So it, it, my computer was lagging like five seconds. It must've been lagging like at least three, maybe even 10 seconds. It was lagging in there so much. And it just really, really messed me up right there. I, I got to get over to IBIO. IBIO, OPK is moving pretty good. OPK is at 33%. 190 is starting to push a little bit. But here's IBIO. If this thing got over the 175 and used it as support right there, I would possibly get in right there. 
What's going on? Okay, 50 shares. And you noticed I did not step up my share size yet. I forgot about it actually, and I was still stepped down into my lower share size because the market's been so tough recently. So, so tough recently. 50 shares, 172. Check out OXY. Bryce says OXY could be moving. I, I At the stock market open, I try to just focus on my stock. Sometimes if I see a stock running, I'll run right over there, kind of like HLTY is moving. HLTY is pushing right now. That one has a little bit. Look at that. That's a little heavy, though. That That's not a good one. LBY, boom. So let's go... Let's see what's happened. Do you play $12 stocks? I will play $12 stocks, but it just all depends on how much what, how much buying power I want to use up for that day. If it's the only stock, I, I try to stick between uh, $1 and $10. $1 and $10, but I will go up to $15, sometimes even $20 stocks. But it just all depends. Just depends, you know, but anyways, look at this. IBIO was moving. So AYTU just is kind of just consolidating, consolidating in AYTU for her scalp. Wilton Forbes, I like it, man. I do like AYTU. I was thinking about that one also. So I'm, I'm trying to see what's going on here. The SPY is going down, man. The SPY started going down, I think, a little bit. Sorry for uh, complaining so much this morning. I don't need to complain. I need to fix the problem. Just like you guys were saying, we'll fix the problem. If you have a problem, fix it, man. And that's how I like to live my life, believe it or not. If I have a problem, I need to fix the problem. But I today, I, I just don't want to try to do it during stream, even though because it, fixing my computer, I may have to lag all, I may have to come all the way back out of it. And I may have to uh, do a whole bunch of stuff. And I just don't want to miss the stock market today. So I'm just going to work around it. Work, work around it. Don't see a lot of action, monkey. No, the market is so slow. I think everybody's like on the fence. What's really happening today? Nothing. I tried to take a stab, a scalp trade on LJPC. That, that Truthfully, that would have been a green trade to me. If my computer was working right, I would have had a green, green trade. And then I would have took another trade just like where I did and at the 450s for that little, little bounce right there. And that was a green trade. Believe it or not, but oh well, who who cares? You can't, you, I, I'm, I'm red on the day. It's my own fault. It's my own fault. What's your account value? My account value is, I will show you in a, in a little bit. I can show you right now, but this ain't the correct number. $1,589.47 right there. $1,589.47. I have $597 buying power. $597 buying power. LJPC. Man, I'm just going to get out of this. This thing's too slow. Boom. So I lost $3.92 today. $3.92. I don't like how LJPC, it looks like it could curl around, but it still could come down to the 425s. So I just want to make sure, I don't want to make a bigger losing day than I have to, even though, because this is just basically break even for me. I should have never took that trade. Trey, you went riding a car with no brakes. Be careful train with a computer lagging. Yeah, it already cost me $4 today. I was buying when it came down here, this quick wash. I My fill should have been, it was actually at 476. If you go watch back, 476. And I seen it and I was hitting it, but I figured I'll get in at 480. It started to bounce to 480. And then boom, right there, right by the $5 was my first profit target. Boom, right there. It would have been a good trade. Would I have been quick enough though? I don't know. I just don't know if I would have been, but... Oh, well, I had plenty of time. Look at that right up there, 480s, 4 $5 a couple times. IBIO could be flagging here. I got to get back over there. That's right. Thank you, Squirrel Trading. IBIO could be flagging here. It's looking pretty good. It is looking pretty good right here, but it does have a little bit of resistance right there. It has some support down towards the 160s, the 162 right there. Just the market, the market today, you guys are absolutely correct. The market today is, here's GLBS, a shipping stock. Look at this thing. 
GLBS is moving. GLBS is moving. Boom, boom, boom. GLBS. Man, look at this thing go. GLBS. Let's go to the daily chart. GLBS. 74 cents. It has room all the way to 71 cents. 71, 74 cents. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. You couldn't have came, uh, been at a better place. What you're seeing from your very eyes my one minute chart, five minutes chart, 15 minute chart, level two time sales. This is my extra trade where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. Look at GLBS has room to 70 cents to 70 to 75 cents quickly. Oh man, look at that, man. <laughs> 70 to 75 cents and then it could do a little pullback there and get closer to the dollar look at that man i should have jumped right in on that one good job guys for taking that one whoever took that one that was a good trade you had to be quick on it the daily chart showed 70 75 cents 71 cents it jumped straight to it right there it does have room above the 75 cents it has room up to the dollar up to the dollar maybe even over the dollar right there to 96 cents is the next is the next daily support resistance line 75 is right there though so if it can bounce off that right there we'll have to see hit them like guys g santi hit the like if you guys could please hit the like button youtube loves it and i love it too do you guys i don't know if you guys ever watched uh, howard stern do you remember on Howard Stern how he used to go, Baba Booey, Baba Booey, remember that? They would call in places. I was thinking about doing that. I was thinking about doing that with CNN and going trading monkey, boom, 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 trading monkey, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I was gonna do it man and I was hoping some of you guys would have heard me on there I was hoping some of you guys would have heard me on there when they were talking about the coronavirus But I never got the chance man. I never got the chance love Howard. Yes, I do <laughs> G Sandy OPK is finally moving uh, Andrew Donson says OPK is finally moving. It's at 209 208 Look at that. OPK is looking good, man. Market is crazy. Nah, I can fake news. I know. I I, I watch CNN just, I, I know. CNN is such a, they're haters to me. They really are haters. But Fox News, whatever you watch, you're going to get some news. Look at OPK. You guys, this is the top stock, actually. OPK, you guys were calling this. Healthy or health. I think Zona J was. A few of you guys were calling this. Stock, look at this, man. Look at that. Look at that. Right over, right over all this resistance. The dollar ninety-eight, it had some resistance. As soon as it got over that dollar ninety-eight, it just kept going. Kept kept going. So if GLBS can bounce off the 65, 62 cent spot, it could go to the next level. It really could make it to the next level. GLBS, GLBS, haters, LOL, and one stock killer says haters, man, monkey, monkey, OPK, Francis Dean, I'm there, man, maybe I shouldn't be so, uh, thing on this, this thing can get moving, look, it's got up to 291 before, man, this one's moving like a low float stock, actually, a low float stock, man, I gotta get, I may have to get in on this one, I may have to get in on this one, Boom, boom, boom. Look at it. What are we going to do? Here we go. 217, 220, 217, 220. Look at There's some resistance right here. So maybe if it got above that 220, I could get in for that little push up to the pre-market high, which is 237. Or maybe you could try to take it down here on this lower support down by the 207 for the push back up. What should I do on this? 30 shares. Man, I... OPK, OPK, uh, GLBS is at 63 cents. 2 to 3, 30 shares. Um, let's see what's happening. I guess I shouldn't be so uh, quick to say don't trade this one. I guess I shouldn't be so quick to say trade this one. LGPC now 430. Uh, 434. Oh, uh, Wilton Forbes says LJPC 434. Shippers going GLBS, TOPS, uh, DCIX. Yes, there's a lot of those shipping stocks moving. TOPS and GLBS there. Boom. Some good ones. 
Good ones moving. So the shipping stocks are moving. There's a few. There's a little bit of movement in the stock market, just not that great. Yeah, yeah. LJPC came down. That that's a good scoop for the VWAP test right there. Sometimes I will take that one. Sometimes I will take that. So here we go. What's happening here? So the volume two oh seven. Oh man. Oh, I'm think I'm thinking about picking it up right here. It does have room to the two twenties right there before resistance two oh seven to two twenty, but it's looking kind of heavy right there. Looking kind of heavy. SMLP. So SMLP. Nothing. Look at the volume in the stock market. It's just not. It's just not that good, man. It's just not that good. I bet if they cancel the 2020 election, Corona would crash and burn fast. <laughs> Probably uh, Paul DeVault. I bet. I, I bet it would, man. <laughs> this is nuts. Markets getting crushed, even though they open five percent up. Squirrel trading, I know the stock market is tough. GLBS basically looks like the best stock to me. This has room up to the 220. This looks like a classic entry. I really don't like to trade OPK, but it looks like a good, good entry. Maybe you would just risk down by the 198, possibly 198. So you would have a 10 cent risk for a 10 cent first profit target and then your next profit target up towards 233. So it look it looks pretty good right there, to tell you the truth. I'm I'm not gonna take that though, but GLBS, this is a sub dollar stock right here. GLBS man. GLBS. I think this has a history of going up and coming back down. What is going on? G GLBS OPK. I'm going to keep an eye on OPK. POAI is trying to curl back around too. I just don't see nothing I can trade around here. I just really don't. Don't, don't, don't. Don't, don't, don't. Maybe I should take that. 202. Man, this one's just coming straight back down too. This is nuts. 2020. NAT. Uh, Titan 2020 says NAT could be a good one. Let's go look at that one. Man, just the stock market. This is, I, the stock market when it's like this, there's just not a lot, a lot of opportunity on the long side. You know what I mean? It's so hard, so hard to get any opportunity. NAT, not something I would look at. Looks like more of a swing day trade. Maybe buy it off the bottoms. What is this one? Nordic America. What is this one? Man. IBIO, OPK, IBIO came down. Uh, man, just, I don't know. OPK looks like it has the best volume and the best situation, basically. OPK and GLBS, it went straight up, but it came back so far. So since it came back so far, I just don't know. So, uh, man, it's just really difficult to see. S&P, Dow Jones. Boring day, and I forced a red trade. Oh, well, first red day in a while. See you all tomorrow. Squirrel trading. Yeah, I know. It was a tough day. See you later, squirrel trading. You know it's always good to see you here. I'll check you out later on, probably. We'll see how it goes. Boom, boom, boom. Good job. It's so good. There's a lot of great people in this live stream. A lot of great information. A lot of great people to learn from. Just so much. We're going to do this as a team. We're going to spread out as a team. We're going to make a super clean team. And then that team is going to make another team. We're going to make a tight team. We're going to have an island someday. I have big dreams, big hopes. I'm spreading my wings. We're going to the top. I'm going to make $1 million day trading low full of small cap stocks. I know you guys probably get tired of hearing that, but it's the truth. I have the direction. I have the uh, plan. We just need to set it in motion. Set it in motion, man. What? Where was my, uh, what did I do? 2020. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Balu Alfred SDKL. Welcome to the channel. You couldn't have came to a better place where you see in front of your very eyes. My one minute chart, five minute chart, 15 minute chart, level two. Time and sales is my active trader where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. Look at that. It kind of whipped back down through there. I'm buying 30 shares at 203, at 203, 
203. I'm buying 30 shares at 203. I usually don't buy on a green candle, but today I did. 203. I'm going to sell two of my shares at 205 or 10 of my shares at 205. Maybe I'm in a little bit early, but I'm going to use 198 as my risk right there. 198, maybe down there, 193 is going to be my risk. It will be basically like a $3 risk. $3 risk if I can get out. Actually, I'm not going to sell my shares there. I'm going to put them up a little bit higher at 208. 208, I'll sell a few of my shares at 208 there, 207. 208 and 207. Is that OPK, monkey? Yes. OPK, I'm sorry, it is OPK. I usually don't trade OPK, but it is moving kind of like a low full stock. It does have a little bit of action. Maybe I'm going to get uh, not... Maybe this is going to wreck me. Maybe it's not going to be good. But at least I'm trying to take advantage of this. We'll, we'll see how it works out. We'll see how it works out. Man, I, I would have liked to get in at 194. There's going to be a lot of profit takers at 193 right there. We'll, we'll see. We'll see, man. 193. Come on, man. Come on. We can do this. Uh, I traded OPK 192 to 209. TOS lagging as free... So tired of this. Yes, TOS is lagging so bad, man. Lagging. TOS Thinkorswim, it's a good platform for beginner day traders. Sometimes it lags a little bit, but they work on their issues. AIM is pushing a little bit. Man, I don't know. You're right. I did trade uh, OPK. I, I broke my rules on OPK. I've been staying away from this one for so long, man. <laughs> For so long. Oh well. Oh well, man. OPK. OPK. What's going to happen? 201. 201. I'm assuming your live stream is lagging because your candles are lagging. Yes, my candles are lagging. I'm lagging. I, I usually have, I think, about a three, four second delay on this live stream. Three second delay on this live stream. Man, this ain't looking good for the home team. We'll see what happens right here. IBIO is trying to catch its feet, it looks like. No, not really. But what is happening? What is going on here? HLD. Look at that. I, I, I thought this would get up to 210 super easy. I thought OPK would hit 210 super easy, but it's not. It's just not. It's going down, 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 down. 192, 199. Think or swim horrible execution was up $35 and I'm out minus 85. Oh, Willie PM. Sorry, man. I know. Look at me. I'm frozen again. Oh my gosh. This is not good. My, um, my platform is frozen. GLBS. Oh, look, GLBS. I didn't think it... Man, I should have stayed with GLBS, man. I should have stayed with that one. Look at that curl. Oh, man. I would Man, I knew to stay away from OPK also. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that, man. Man, I knew to stay away from OPK. We'll see how it works out. It's still it's still not in a, in a bad spot yet, but if it gets down to the dollar ninety three, it's probably in a bad spot. GLBS looks like the best opportunity. GLBS, LBY, OPK, OPK. What is happening with this one? OPK. Come on, man. Get up there. Two o two, two o two. Let me get a couple right here. Two o five. Welcome to the channel. You couldn't have came to the better place. Ask one fifty three G L B S. Oh, is it? It's in a halt, man. It's in a halt. There it goes. Welcome to the channel, Robert. Uh, you couldn't have came to a better place. What you're seeing in front of your very eyes is my one minute chart. Oh. Five minute chart, 15 minute chart, level two time and sales in this my active trader where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. Each and every day, man. 
So I'm trying to see what's happening. Do you swing trade by chance? Yes, but not this channel is only for day trading low fold small cap stocks. Day trading low fold small cap stocks, man. Day trading low fold small cap stocks. 201, 201. Man, this is just struggling. This is why I don't trade OPK. It just has such a tight range. It's it's good to trade for like a beginner trader because you can practice and you can know, you can see your patterns, you can see your stuff, you can look into it. OPK is a good one, but just not just not the kind of stock I trade, man. Just not the kind of stock I trade usually. But I traded it. But I traded it, and that's what I did. 203, 204, <clears throat> 204, 203, 204. Let's go, let's go. What's going to happen up here? Let me take that out of there. 203, 203, 208, 208. Man, there's a big guy sitting at 204. I, I'm going to get some of my shares out at 204 just to reduce my risk a little bit. Just to reduce my risk. Okay, there we go. Now I feel a lot more better. Now I'm going to hold the rest up towards the 218. Towards the 218s. 218s. Get up there, man. Get up there. Monkey, AYTU. Yes, AYTU dropped like a rock, man. AYTU went down. Spy call options holding value. Look at this. Boom. 10 shares. 203. This one just does not have the good range for me. Just not a good range, but 207, 208, 208, 208. 208 boom i sold some at 208 right there so let's see what's happening let's go man let's go now now this trade is not going to be a losing trade no matter what i'm going to try to hold this up a little bit higher i always take profits a little too early but that's just what i do i always do it 209 <laughs> 209 i'm trying to dig my hell uh out of the hole uh glbs is in a halt we're going to get back over there. GLBS, we're going to get over there. Maybe it's going to get above the dollar. Maybe it will get above the dollar. I'm going to put my stop on uh, OPK at 203. If this thing comes down to 203, I'm going to stop out. I'll stop out and I'll have a winning trade. But I just want this thing to get up over. Basically, my profit target is up towards the 220s up there. And then the 230s, 225s would be my next profit target. Let's see what happens. It's halted. Luca Films, GLBS. I, I had good hopes for that, but after it went so high up and then so far down, yes, AYTU, I guess that was a, a quick little washout for a quick pop. It's been doing that. AYTU, somebody, some huge guy has a, so many shares, he can move it wherever he wants. He keeps... Who knows what's happening with that one? I don't know what's happening. UK OPK breakout 215 Paul default. I'm looking for it, man. I'm I'm gonna hold my last five shares up. But look at these. It just keeps getting. It looks like somebody wants to just trying to put downward pressure. But I'm not used to reading a stock. I, I think this has a high float. According to Yahoo Finance, it has a 411 million float. It's hard for me to read anything on this. You know what I mean? There's just so many weird numbers on there. Let's go. Let's go. Man, I wish I could have got in down here at 195. Look at that. That would have been good. Would have been. Oh, GLBS is out of the halt. GLBS is out of the halt right now. So if you are going to trade, let's. I'm going to go look at GLBS, why this one's moving around. Look at this. Boom. Boom, boom. GLBS. 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 What's going on? I bought a bunch of cruise line stocks last night. Cruise line. Yeah. Oh, I, all the cruise lines are going down, man. I don't know if it's a little early to buy the cruise lines yet, but I guess there could be a little bit of money. I could, you could get some money. It just depends on how are you going to find the bottoms of those? I'm just not sure, but they're so oversold that how can you not try to scoop them up? You know what I mean? How can you not try to scoop them up right down there? It's just hard not to hard, hard not to. 
So uh, OPK is all the way back down to 205. I'm not really liking the volume on this, even though the volume is super good on GLBS. It's just not moving, just not moving the right way, man. GLBS coming down by opposite. Yeah, I I always buy the pullbacks. That that's just what I do. On OPK, I bought on a green candle. I usually don't buy on green candles like that, but. Anthony was, look at, here come the buyers, here come the buyers, here come the buyers, man. For the break above 80, do you buy this for the break above 80? This is looking good right here. Man, look at that, man. Man, you have to you have to catch the quick moves in the uh, market. OPK stopped me out, it came all the way back down to 73 cents. Mm. it's pushing 80 cents there it is breakout 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 is it gonna make it i don't buy breakouts usually but this is a breakout i wish i would have bought <sighs> that is a breakout i wish i would have bought right there good trading glbs is the stock of the day man glbs is the stock of the day look at it man GLBS is a good one. Man, sorry for repeat myself again, but I just can't help it. GLBS was such a good power move. Look at that. Look at that. 87 for the push up. For the push up. What is going on? PMTS. Man, the people want to make money in the stock market, but... Seventy three eighty man seventy seven maybe I'll I'll shrink my shares down a little bit shrink my shares down eighty one eighty one eighty four eighty four man this thing's going higher this thing's gonna go higher it looks like man it's hard for me to buy I just wanted to see a little bit of a pullback right there there's a lot of people that ha are holding on to their position some took profits but it looks like it wants to go higher man wants to go higher alert on uh, Yuma oil stock Y-U-M-A alert on Yuma someone saying so maybe that's a good one maybe that is a good one boom 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 what is happening this has room up to the 90 cents 96 cents right there it has room up to 96 cents 91 81 81 80 man that thing's trying to come down trying to come down right there 80 80 80 80 80 cents man i usually don't trade sub dollar stocks either sub dollar stocks i don't trade either five dollars i'd be risking about five dollars about seven dollars is today the day to risk about seven dollars or is it not? Alert, VOXL, proxel break after resistance. VOXL, someone's saying. Man, I, I'm going to start with 10 shares just to take a trade, just to get in there. Oh, wait. I'm buying 50 shares at 0 0.76, 0 0.7660. I bought some shares right there, 50 shares right there. Who knows, maybe this is just coming down. I'm okay with that. 7660, 7660. Looking for the push back up over 87 cents. Looking for a push back up over 87 cents right there. LJPC looks like it's trying to bottom out right there. Really trying to bottom out. 79 come on let's go let's go 79 bngo volume pickups robert lamb says bngo volume picking up 85 85 and 20 shares 
84, right there. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. 84. So I, I'll sell 20 of my shares right by 84 cents. If it comes up to 84 cents, I'll sell some of my shares up there. Who knows if it's going to go up or if it's going to drop like a rock right here. We'll have to see. Which time frame do you use most? The five minute. Michael Purves, I use the five minute chart the most right there. See how it's resting right there? Like it's right there on that pullback right there. I'm basically buying that little pullback right there. I thought it would go up one more shot, but who knows? This may just come down. This may just come down here. I could take profit, a dollar profit. Maybe I should take a little bit of profit. Okay, there we go. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. So I, I got rid of some of my shares right there. I'm, I'm going to get rid of a couple more right there at 79 cents. I, I'm not good at trading these sub dollar stocks. I was looking for 10 cents on this, but maybe that's too much. Okay, 30 shares. I have 30 shares left. I'm looking for the pushover high a day. I'm going to try to sell my shares maybe by the 94 cents, by 94 cents up there. Trade GLBS 68 to 84. I'm done. TOS is terrible. Afraid I'm going to get stuck. Yeah, that's, it's so tough, man. It's so, so tough right there. Michael Purves, yes, the five minute chart is the one I use the most and I use the 15 minute chart, but the one minute chart is what I look for for my entries basically. 76, man, maybe I should get out one more share right here. No. 30 shares, 30 shares, man, third, 78, 75, 75, 75. We'll see what happens right here. It looks like it's trying to come down a little bit. 77, 75, come on. Stay up there, PMT. Man, that was a good one too. Oh. Sixty-six, sixty-six, sixty-six. We'll see what happens here. Maybe it's just coming down. Man, I'm trying to I should have I got FOMO after I missed out on that breakout trade. I should have took that breakout trade, but we'll see. We'll see how it works out here. 72, 73, 74, 75. I know a lot of people are still in this up here and they're probably adding to their position. So 80 cents to 70, they probably have a 75 cent average and I have a 76 cent average. So I feel pretty safe in this uh, or that's just what I think. Maybe it's going to keep coming down. Maybe it's just short sellers that sold right at the tippy tippy top up there. So we'll see. Boom. Which time frame? Going down crazy. What What is happening here? We'll see what happens. I'm going to draw my trend line in here. Sometimes I like to draw this little trend line. Boom. <clears throat> here we go. Here we go, man. It kind of went down below this is what, what I don't like to see. So let's see. 72. 73. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So anyways, trading the stock market is super duper tough today, man. There's just not a lot. CODX bounced off the $10. Right off that $10 down there. Uh, CODX high alert. CODX is high alert, man. It, it's all the way up to 1143 right now and still pushing 1142. CODX, if you trade something like that. CODX. 73 73 74 what is happening why is my thing right there tippy tippy top strategy yeah I, I trade the same way every single day i trade the same plan i think it has room up to 96 cents before it comes down so we'll have to see what happens maybe it's not maybe it's just going to come down but my first profit target would be like a push over that high maybe for a little fake out breakout right there 
76, 76, 6, 76, 6. Come on, get up there. 77, 77, here we go. OCUL about to halt. OCUL is another one. 77. 77, 77, 2, 77, 2, 77, 9, 77, 77. Okay, there we go. I have 20 shares left. I, I just, I, I know it came down here. I was thinking I should have added to my position, but I just want to be careful today in the stock market. I'm trying to be extra, extra careful. So anytime, like these sub dollar stocks and a stock like OPK that doesn't have that good a range. Look at the range on this. This is a sub dollar stock. That's a huge range for a sub dollar stock actually but I'm just not seeing it. LJPC is starting to catch its feet, turn back around. And uh, HTBX, you guys were looking at that one. That could be a good one. That could be a good one, HTBX. T-Monkey buys in overbought territory. It works for breakouts sometimes, yes. Well, I, I, I mean, I was just buying that first pullback into this 9 EMA and into that support right there. See that support on the... Uh, uh, five minute chart at least I see support there and I think it still has room to the upside the volumes good this is a trade I would take usually I take this trade right there but I did not take this trade did not take it man this looks like 69 69 cents but oh well it, it, I'm gonna have it looks like I'm gonna have a red day if I can find another better trade I want this to do one more breakout up towards that 90 cents up there, but it doesn't look like it's going to be that strong right now. Look at this. I don't I don't like to see this now. This is even worse now. This is way way worse. This looks like I should draw I should stop out right here. Yeah, but I'm not. I, I'm going to give it a little bit more room down to 66 cents. 66. DLBS squeeze down. Yeah, it looks like a squeeze down to me. <laughs> it's going to have to bounce right here. If it doesn't bounce here, it's probably going to squeeze at least down to the 66 cents right there. I needed to get back above here. Back up, up, ma'am. So we'll see. RDHL, what's going on with that one? There's this one. Or no... P R T Y. Man, come on, man. I, look at this low volume. I do not trade stuff like this. And here I am trading this. I'm just trading this right now. Boom. One of my rules is not to sell on the quick move down, but I may have to on this. I may have to if it does a quick move down. LJPC. LJPC is uh, moving up, man. LJPC right down there, but who knows? If that thing comes back down to the 415, look at LJPC, a whole bunch of people just, there's a lot of volume on there. A lot, a lot of volume on there. 66, 66, 66. We'll see what happens. LJPC is moving. LJPC, man, LJPC is moving. This is breaking down, breaking down, breaking down. Look at 68, 70. Sixty-eight. Lower this candle, sixty-six. Sixty nine. I'm going to go look at LJPC real quick. LJPC. This could be a bad trade too. LJPC, and we'll check this one out. Get out and move on. Ricardo Zapata. Yeah, that's basically what I'm doing on there. Is getting out and moving on, man. GLBS. 
So we'll we'll see what happens to that, see if it comes down. It looks like it wants to come down and it's done, but sometimes they do that fake out and then they squeeze it right back up super hard. So we'll just have to wait and see, man. Wait and see. I got to see what I got on OPK real quick. OPK, I got 78 cents, so I'm good with that. 78 cents. So anyways, thank you guys for being here every day. Thank you guys for being here. And uh, I'm trying, I'm working on not repeating myself so much and I'm, I'm just going to trade the stock market. But do you see it's hard? Why force a trade on a stock on today? You know what I mean? I'm just trying to force trades just to be able to trade. I need to stop. This is another thing I need to work on. You know, another thing I have to work on is not is not just boredom trading because just these are all swing day trades I'm trying to do. You see how low the volume is? There's no momentum. No, no momentum. It's just slow, slow, and slow. Slow, slow, and slower. Slow, slow, and slower, man. <laughs> L-A-B. RCLUB, BSFM, this nothing, OPK. Glad to be here. Go monkey, David Padilla. I'm looking. I'm trying to turn my, uh, I, I should be green on the day today. That's another reason I keep uh, taking more trades. I'm just not, I'm, I'm really not executing or my my platform was frozen but it's nobody's fault but my own because i i shouldn't have traded i realized i realized it wasn't that good c l c p l g getting francis dean says c p l g is starting to move a little bit so look, look at this ljpc still has okay volume to me if this thing came down to the 410 the 415 area and found its feet right there. That would be my first stab right there. CODX is the top stock, actually. CODX, boom. CODX, maybe I will trade this one. This one could make me have a super green day. Look at that, $11, bounced off $11, went to $11.60. This one's about to do a red to green move. CODX is about to do a red to green move. The open price was about $11.77. $11.77 up there, boom. How do you measure a stock moving so many pennies or dollars per minute or a second? I, I just focus on the one minute chart and see how much, just look at the candles and you can get an average in there. You know what I mean? And AYTU is starting to move a little bit. And now, and now uh, GLBS, I'm thinking about getting out for uh, a couple more shares on GLBS. But CODX, this is the volume we're looking for. This is it right here. Look at the volume on this. This is how I like to trade. Definitely how I like to uh, trade. So I'm going to take 10 more shares. Join the ass, 76. 76, it's right at the resistance. I, I'm just not trusting it. It came down so far right there. So I want to get out for a few more shares right there. And then I'll hold my last shares on. But CODX, I'm getting ready to go back over there. I just want to make sure I can put my stop in here. Look at that. It came up and I did not get a chance to get out yet. 75, 75 CODX. Market will down again if a whole USA people not wear masks. I'm from Hong Kong. Low interest rate can kill the virus. Low interest rates can kill the virus, ma'am. Let's go. Let's go. At least there's a few stocks moving in the stock market right now. The ones that have good volume are AYTU and CODX. Those are the top ones I see right now. I'm actually just getting out of this. I'm I'm done with this stock. This is just garbage trading. CODX 75 75 Here we go. Let's see what happens. See if I can even get out of this now. <laughs> 75. But anyways, AYTU is coming back up. AYTU is a top stock in CODX. 
AYTU, come on, let me out of this. I'm just, it's just playing around with me. It looks like it wants to go up now. I should just, I don't know. AYTU. Seventy cents. I'm just putting my stop at seventy cents now. I'm gonna stay in this trade. Seventy cents. Seventy cents. But I'm gonna put my stop a little bit tighter. My stop's gonna be right there in the stock market. I'm going over to AYTU and C O D X. AYTU. Boom. AYTU. Look at this one. This is looking good, man. Looking good. AYTU. Man, that one's looking good. Uh, GLBS is coming down to stop me out. Boom. There we go. OPK has much more volume than CODX. Yeah, OP, of course, but it has such a high, it has a high, in, high uh, flow on it, though. Oh, I got stopped out at GLBS. I believe I did, GLBS, let me go look at it. So I took a red trade minus a dollar on there. That's okay for that one. That's just garbage boredom trading. That's exactly what I'm doing today. <clears throat> Here we go. Here we go, man. Whoa, look at AYTU. They keep doing stuff like this. They keep doing that. Bum, bum, bum. AYTU. What is, I'm still a newbie, only been trading about three months. Michael Purves, you're probably doing a pretty good job. There's so many great traders around here. And I'm just basically, when there's nothing going on, it's so like, ah, uh, you just wanna be able to trade, you know? But when you don't see your clean setups, you start adding on to another setup. Like on GLBS, I should have bought that breakout. You seen the strength in it going up, up, and up. So I should have just bought that and sold that right there. Instead of getting in where I got in, I just got in because I knew it had room up to 96 cents. And I thought, okay, I'll try to capture that little bit of money there. But the volume, the volume told me not to do it. The volume, volume, volume. Man, I man, AYTU is a good one. I just didn't want to see it down that far, but that was right down where it wicked down in the pre-market. It came down to the 145s, 146s. <clears throat> what is going on? 10 shares. I'm I, I may try this one. I may try this. Eleven twenty-five. Eleven dollars. What? Eleven twenty-two. I'm in at eleven twenty-two. I'm keeping a tight stop though. Of eleven dollars, of eleven dollars ten ninety nine. I'm keeping a tight stop on. Uh, I'm putting a hard stop in here because I just don't want to uh, get wrecked on this. Even though it's above, this looks good to me. I like this setup right here, and I like this trade. I'm happy with it. I'm keeping a tight stop. I'm looking for a quick push up towards the eleven sixties, eleven at least up towards the eleven fifties. I could take a little range trade. This is basically going to be a range trade right here, but I'm giving it a little room to the downside, 20 cents, so I'm looking for 20 cents. It's one-to-one -one trade right here, so that's good for me. Good for me, 1122, 32, 42, 
52. Boom. LD, I am in Arizona and I have seen less than 1% wearing masks, but everyone is washing hands. <laughs> everyone is washing their hands, man. Everybody is washing their hands, yes, because... Man, everybody was going, is the coronavirus that bad? Is it really bad or is it good? What's going to happen? And definitely it is a bad situation. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. In my entire life. So after this trade, this is it. This is my last trade for the day. But I'm just, I'm working on a good trade. Look at uh, GLBS is back up to 72 cents now. It's it's still holding right there. It it looks like it may still go up, but is there enough volume to push it that high? C O D X. We're gonna see what's happening here. This one looks like it's coming down. A dollar eighty, dollar ninety, eleven ninety nine, ten ninety nine, eleven dollars. Boom. Ah. Oh, oh my gosh. I keep just trying to take trades, trying to take trades. 1083, I, I bought some more shares at 1087 right there, 1087. I'm going to add one more time down towards the 1060s, the 1050s right there on CODX. CODX, let's go. Let's get up there. 1093, 1093. Boom, 1103, 1103, 1087, Trains are empty in New York. I'm just taking a little, trying to scalp the market because there's little moves in the stock market. AYTU is back up over the dollar uh, fifties. Still right back up over the dollar fifties. 1103, 1101, 1196, 1101, come on. 1087. Get up there. Ten ninety, ten ninety, ten ninety, ten ninety, ten ninety six, ten eighty eight. Come on, get up there. I have a sell order right at eleven oh one, and it just will not hit my order. Banner Hospital. 11, 11, 11. I'm moving it down to $11. I should have I should have put it at 10.99. There we go. I sold five of my shares there. Five of my shares 10.87. Oh, oh man. Okay. Whoa. Ten eighty seven. Let me try to get out of there. Ten eighty seven. Ten eighty eight. I I put my stop at break even on my other five shares right there. I put my stop right at break even. OPK fighting hard. Wonder what OPK is doing. OPK. I'm gonna look. OPK is at one ninety nine right now. One ninety nine. LJPC. Where's that one at? LJPC. It did basically come down to the 415s right there. So that's basically kind of what I was looking for. Anyone need mass? Anyone need mass right there? Look at this. This is just, what is happening? 18,000 volume. <clears throat> Anyone need, BBY got in at $6. BBY got in at $6. Good job. Look at uh, GLBS. Is that one going to make it up there? Look at this. Man, it came right down to 65 cents. Uh, my stop before was right there. Was right down there. I got stopped out of uh, of CODX. I, I did get some of my money back. I'm, I'm just trying to force trades. Whoa, that thing dropped like a rock right there. CODX. <clears throat> LJPC. Just forcing trades today. <laughs> forcing, forcing trades, man. I cannot do it. Man. 
Every single one of my trades are red, red, and red. Check out C-O-T-Y, just broke highs. B-B-Y, just got uh, got in at six. Y'all sleeping, C-O-T-Y. Let's look at that one, see what's going on with C-O-T-Y. There's just no trades today. I'm, ju I'm just eating up my money by doing this. So today, I I'm at $1,609. So basically, I lost... Let's see if I can get myself big again. Uh, nine. I lost six dollars today. I lost five dollars and fifty cents again. That that's about my max loss on the day today. So that's all I'm gonna do right there. All I'm gonna do, man. Five dollars today already. Five dollars two days in a row. But my one day before that, I'm still green on the week this week. But I'm just. I'm really just working on nothing. Do you see the trades I'm taking today? And do you see the trade I took yesterday on just adding and adding and adding into a loser? That's what I was about to do on CODX, but instead I decided to stop out, get back in right there, and then take my trade from there. COT or COTY right there. Welcome to the channel. You couldn't have came to a better place. What you're seeing from your very eyes is my one minute chart. Five minute chart, 15 minute chart, level two time sales is my trade where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. Let's get pumped up. Let's go. Let me drink some coffee, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some money. I'm done. I'm done crying around. I'm I'm gonna power up. I'm powering up. Stop adding with no plan. Yeah, stop adding with no plan. Exactly. On, on CODX, I was trying to take a little range trade there. On I, I, all my trades today are stretching the boundaries of my strategies. They're just stretching it right on out because every single stock, if a stock trends down for the first five minutes, just like on LJPC, just like on e almost every single one of these stocks, CODX, uh, every single stock I traded today, actually, I'm supposed to not even take a trade. So it, it already just is breaking my rules right there. Every single stock I broke the rules besides GLBS, but GLBS, my trade should have been right, not there. It should have been right here in this area, but I traded it way back here. Th this was fine where I got in. I'm happy with that area also, but anyways, that this was the only trade which was actually an okay trade to me. I have to see a stock go green on the day. I need, uh, there's different things I look for and just not seeing what I'm looking for. I'm just trying to force trades and forcing trades will never work out. It just won't. GLBS under a buck broke. Yeah, uh, there's another, Paul DeBald said it too. GLBS under a buck broke rules. CODX is over $10, basically broke. I broke all my rules today. J just trying to force trades and forcing trades. Hopefully you guys learned something from that. You do not, you have to stick to your rules. Your rules are there for a reason. You know what I mean? My rules are there. It would have stopped this whole day today. Sure, on LJPC, if I would have got in right where I wanted, it kind of frustrated me a little bit because on LJPC, I should have had a green day on that. But I did not because I had platform issues. I had computer problems. But th that's no excuse. You need to stand right up. You need to buckle down. You need to have your shoes tied and ready to go. You need to... Anything's possible in the stock market. You have to be prepared. You have to be prepared. Use the plan you used on Monday, Tuesday, you made money, yes. And on Wednesday and Thursday, I lost money, but I'm still green on the week because one day I made $20, the other day I made $10. So basically, I'm still up $20 on the week. You know what I mean? I'm basically, well, probably about $15. I'm up about $15 on the week still. So I'm doing, I'm doing just fine. My account is growing and it's progressing and it's going. I want to show you guys uh, my trading journal and really show you my statistics on the way, uh, how it's really moving and doing good stuff. How I'm really locking in my strategies, locking in everything that's working out.
I'm doing I'm doing I'm doing good stuff. It's just uh, days like today just really get me. Look at M A R K. They're C O T Y. That was another good one. I I'm not gonna trade C O T Y though, but uh, that one did look okay. I guess C O T Y. Here's uh, 43, 46, 40, 53. Still no trades today. OPG broke down and was the only plan in place. A breakout entry 215 for Paul the Bald. And that's a great look right there. The only the only trade I seen that was possibly a good trade for me was on GLBS, but it wasn't one of my strategies per se. It was super close to one of my strategies, but not my strategy at all. Not my whole, whole strategy. I trade anything I can make a buck on, but I watch the tape like a hawk. A sub dollar stocks, I've been hurt bad on those. Yeah, sub dollar stocks are so difficult for me to trade personally. I just cannot not do it. Can't do it. CPSR, PMTS, just nothing. Nothing moving. C T R N. C T R N. What's this one? C T R City Trends. Uh, just nothing. 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 And nothing. Let's look at the spy and see what's happening. Let's look at the spy. See what's happening. I'm gonna find a trade. Here's my buying power I have left today. I have two hundred and seventy-seven dollars buying power left today. My next trade, if I see something with momentum. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it hard. There's one trade I can kind of see right now. It's on LJPC. It, it does have the good enough volume for me. It's basically the VWAP test trade right down from the 415s up to the 450s up there. I thought about taking that trade, but I, sometimes I will only take that trade if, if I'm green on the day. And then I can take that little boredom trade there. But since I'm not green on the day, I, I basically can't afford it. I need to look for some momentum. Look for the momentum in the stock market and find it. CTRA, no. CTRA, just nothing. Nothing I see is moving that well. COTY, look at this one. Let's look at the daily chart. COTY, just down and up down and up see how the market the market's basically just moving sideways so this one shouldn't this one actually to me looks like you should short sell this thing on the next push up towards eight dollars to me it, maybe it will get up towards eight dollars maybe it's grinding good but if it got a little volume spike up to the 750s the eight dollars I would basically look to short sell right there up towards the 828, 838 would probably be my stop right there. But this one's not moving good either. But the stock market's not like rebounding, rebounding. So a lot of these stocks should not be, you know what I mean? It looks like the easier money on this stock is on the short side to me. There goes GLBS. Look at that. I still would have been in this trade if I would have just left my original stop where my stop was. It has room up to 96 cents, but I'm not going to take it now. Look at that. Look at that, man. Boom. OPK double bottom, low risk entry. Ricardo says OPK has a double bottom, low risk entry. Let's go look at that one. OPK. OPK, yep. I, I consider this the VWAP test trade also. Uh, this is basically the exact same thing. And it has the volume for today, but I, I just am red on the day. And this is breaking my rule, so I'm not going to trade it. Not, not going to trade it right there. Man, look at this. If this gets over the 77 and then came back and kind of just used it as support really quick for a micro pullback, there may be a trade for me from the 77 up to the 87. But it have to break over the 77 first. GLBS, next leg, watch over 77. Martin Chamberlain, yeah, that's what I'm looking at also. Over that 77. Sometimes I like to buy as it's busting over, but if you're if you're ever going to buy something as it's busting over something, it's some of those breakout trades, are you selling into that first push or you or if it pulls back, are you going to hold through the pullback? 
if you're going to hold through the pullback, why don't you just wait for the pullback? But some stocks just don't pull back. So sometimes maybe it is just better getting in as it's going up. I just, I've been trying to tighten up my statistics on that. Should I buy as it's going up and then go, okay, if it keeps going up, then it's good. Or should I, or if it goes up and then comes back and pulls back, I'm trying to figure out what's the better entry for me there. Sometimes when it's going up, it just does not do a pullback and it continues up. But how many times does it continue to do that? You know what I mean? How many times does it do it? Does it do it enough times where it makes it worth it to just buy as it's doing that breakout? Or should I always wait for that little micro pullback or that pullback? It's just there's a really fine line right there on what I should do. I, I'm still trying to figure that out. OPK, very possible. Bust through VWAP, L links, yes. Uh, <laughs> links, RSI alert, SSL, STLD, GEO. Nightcrawler Motion says alert, uh, RSI alert, SSL, STLD, GEO. Come on, need to make a few hundred today. We're waiting, we're looking, we're trying to see what's going on. CANF is pushing now. C-A-N-F. Is this one starting to turn around? Look, look where the open price was on C-A-N-F. Some of these do this little fake out breakout. Anticipate the breakout. It is looking like it's a little stretched out right here. So well, let's see what C-A-N-F. The daily average volume. Just the low volume on this. Boom, boom, boom. Let's look at this one. Edit. Okay. C-A-N-F, 149, 150. Who knows? Maybe there'll be a trade. Maybe there will be a trade. GLBS is up over the 78. It does have room up to that 86 cents. There it goes, man. C-A-N-F, man, look at that. Good green trade. I just was not, uh, I, my stop was down below all this, but I didn't do it. Look at that. Oh, man, I knew it had room up to 96 cents, too. I just didn't trust myself. That's another thing, just not trusting myself. Out of every trade I took today, the GLBS trade was my best trade by far. Did you see that little rip neck there right there, though? There would be my first profit target right there. Nice trade. 77 uh, GLBS, Chappie, good job. Or Ch uh, Chappie, four. Chappie, Chappie. Let's go, man. It's the stock market. Where is INOO? INO is at 737 down there. Man, that was my best trade. Let, let's see what happened on this. That was my best, best trade of the day right here. And I did not let it work out for me. VWAP alert, D-S-G-E-O-C-O-T-Y, C-O-T-Y, D-S-G-E-O, Nightcrawler Motion says. So if you want to take some of those types of trades, uh, uh, the VWAP is good to go by sometimes, but it, I, I'm not sure about it really too much. So look at that, 96, it has room all the way to 96. If it does that breakout above the 87, I think it will go to like 94 cents. And look at this. 94, man. I should have just left my stop where I had my stop. I had my stop way down there. Boom. Here we go. 86, 87. I see $1 for GLBS. $1. Yep, $1. That's another uh, good spot right there. $1. Because you all, everybody knows that one dollar is always going to be resistance or support. It's just what everybody thinks. So if everybody thinks that, that's basically the market's definitely going. To, look at this micro pullback before the uh, push. What is happening here? What is going on? 84, 82. Boom, boom, boom. 86, 87. Come on, 88. Boom. 
I, I wanted to take a little breakout trade. I, I, I don't really buy breakout trades. I know it can go over 96 cents right there, but I just wanted to take a little breakout trade just to test my, I, I'm not good at this. This was, it wasn't a breakout, but it was that micro pullback right before the breakout. And that's a trade that's either uh, right out or right out. You know what I mean? Or you it, you either make your money or you don't make your money. And that's what I was looking for. 82 cents was going to be my risk. I just wanted to see that quick push up. I did. I, I really didn't make no money, but I, I'm practicing on this. I'm getting used to taking these sorts of trades. These ain't my top notch trades, but it was looking good. Vuzi news, V-U-Z-I, life is a toilet paper roll. The closer you get to the end, the faster it seems to go. Look at that, man. I can't believe this was my best trade of the day, and I did not, did not, uh, did not capitalize on it. I was in all the way down by 66 cents. It's all the way up to 91 cents. But look at that. That's my resistance level. Now it's basically doing the first pullback over this high. Sometimes I will take this, but I don't trust this right here. But look at that. Boom. 84. Uh, uh, V-U-Z-I news. V-U-Z-I has news. V-U-Z-I Zona J says, so we'll have to see right there. EQM. In V-U-Z-I, all you guys are over on V-U-Z-I. I got to get over there. Why am I not seeing this, man? V-U-Z-I. V-U-Z-I, high alert, high alert, V-U-Z-I, man, good look, man, good, good look on V-U-Z-I, it is moving, has news, good, great look, Zona J, good, good stuff right there, dollar fourteen, dollar this, dollar thirty-nine, has a little bit of resistance right there, dollar fourteen, nine twenty-five, V-U-Z-I, thank you, Zona J, for calling this out, one thirty-three, one thirty-three, 165, 165, five day, five minute. Oh man, come on, man. Man, good, great, great look, man. Great look on that. One thirty eight, edit properties. Oh. 127, 127, man, there was a good entry, Zona J, good call, man, in 123, great call, man, this thing's still going, this could be my opportunity, but I, I'm a little bit, I, I would have to see it, now I'll have to see it up over the dollar thirty-eight, dollar forty, and then look for a little pullback right there for that push up to the dollar fifty right there, or I'm going to have to look for it to come back to the dollar twenty-seven, the dollar twenty-seven, dollar twenty-eight for the push up back up to a dollar thirty-six. That's my entries on this, but who knows what's gonna happen. One twenty-eight, one twenty-eight, man. I bought at the very tippy top perfectly. I bought at the very tippy top. I only bought 10 shares at 138. 138. Boom. Whoa, I, I, oh my God. <laughs> okay, here we go. So it went over the dollar thirty eight now, but it needs to micro pull back here a little bit. It needs to micro pull back. Man, I bought that little, I bought that breakout two times now. I'm buying breakouts. Here we go. V U Z I. Forty four, forty five. I'm trying to see where I'm gonna get in. I have to see real quick. Dollar thirty three. Man, that was a good, great move. All out V U Z I. Me too. I took a little trade. I only got five cents, but I, 
I'm not good at taking uh, breakout trades like that. Dollar forty one. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dollar forty. Dollar forty. I entered at a dollar forty. It was still coming down. I should have got a dollar thirty five, but that's okay. A dollar forty. I'm going to try to sell back up towards a dollar forty seven. Dollar forty seven. Dollar forty. Dollar forty. Come on, man. Get up there. Dollar forty. Dollar forty. Whoa, this thing's dropping like a rock, man. <laughs> this thing's dropping like a rock. Dollar thirty-four. Dollar thirty-four. What is gonna happen? Come on, man. Come on. I'm trying to get more comfortable into relaxing into my trade. Relaxing into my trade. Back to GLBS. Where is GLBS? Is at 94 cents. It's right up there. Man, that was such a good one. Such a good one, man. GLBS is at 96. Getting ready to try to bust over the dollar. Over the dollar there. Dollar 36. Look at that, man. Uh, I mean, 96 cents. So GLBS is moving. If that thing gets over the dollar. Bum, bum, bum. Come on. Get up there. Man, this thing's going so slow right now. So slow. What is happening? 39. Come on. Focus on one stock only. I know. I only focus on one stock, but uh, you sometimes I look at two stocks. Look at this five-minute pullback right there from the dollar thirty-four. Who knows what's going to happen? I oh, I oh, so off to work I go. Let's see what's going to happen here. 1.2 million. Man, I thought this had, I thought this would, this was where I was looking for the pullback to was the dollar thirty eight. It needed to get up to like a dollar forty eight. And then that pullback right there, that's a beautiful setup to me. Beautiful setup. Dollar thirty nine, dollar forty nine, dollar forty. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. What is going on? Dollar forty four, dollar forty four. What is happening right there, man? I am lagging bad or something. Dollar forty one. GLBS is at ninety six cents, man. Ninety six. Dollar forty three. Dollar forty Whoa. There it goes again. Now it's going right on down. Man, it was so close. It was so close. It went right up there. It was so close breaking out. Is it still going to break out though? So the five minute candle is going to close in about one more minute. POAI is coming up. A little bit. LJPC is going down a little bit. So, oh, GLBS is up over the uh, up over the dollar. GLBS is up over the dollar right now. Up over the dollar. Forty-three. Man, this thing. GLBS, look at that thing. Man, my trade was so good on that thing. My trade was so good on... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh.
$1.28.27. I have to go look at this. Man, look at that, man. That was a good one. V-U-Z-I. V-U-Z-I. Twenty six, twenty seven. Let's go, man. Now I'm stuck in this uh, trash can. Dollar fifty. G L B S, man. G L B S. What a great trade, man. What a great trade. G L B S was a good one right there. It's still moving pretty good too. V-U-Z-I was a good one. V-U-Z-I was a pretty good one, but I kind of got stuck in this thing. But oh well, it's okay. It's okay right there. How much cash do I have left? 150. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Man, GLBS. GLBS, man. GLBS tripping may through may go through. May be a good one. GLBS is good. LMPX. What's that one doing? GLBS, ma'am. Thirty-four. Thirty-three, Man, I, I I don't know what I'm doing today. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I was going to cancel that, but oh well. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. 30. Speak stream, uncle. Man, I can't. I... I, I'm caught. I'm stutter stuck. I, I, I held on too long. I wanted to add to my position on this kind of trade right here on this one. Sometimes I, I even though it comes down, I want to add to my position on there. But I didn't. I just didn't, didn't, and didn't. So uh, GLBS is at 99 cents. 38, 39, 38. Come on. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Come on, man. V U Z I. I'm just trying to get out for basically break even. Look how far it's came up on the five minute chart already. Let's go. You might as well paper trade it. Yeah, I I might as well paper trade it. I, I was looking to see I thought I was gonna make some money. Zona J called this out perfectly. Beautiful. Just how I played it, I played the first little breakout trade right, but I need to keep with the same size I'm going to trade. You know what I mean? I need to keep trading the same size. I keep stepping down my share size. And just like Francis Dean says, once you have a green trade, you need to keep going until you start losing. You know what I mean? Until your strategy. 
But another thing I need to do is stick to my strategies. GLBS, look at that thing. That was a perfect, good, great trade for me. It was a trade I would have took. Basically the same trade I'm taking on this one, but uh, a little bit different. What I took earlier, 35, 36, and... Okay, I, I reduced my risk a little bit more right there. So now I'm down to my last 20 shares, my last 20 shares there. So now I'm going to have to hold this up for the push a high a day where I think it can go. But now this is right by that resistance on the day on the daily chart I seen. So if it gets through this, then I think a lot of buyers will start coming in. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Get up there. Get up there. Let's go. Man, I wish I would have added right there. I, I had a plan in the back of my head to add if it came down, but I thought it would it may halt on the downside because the washout was so far. I was going, geez, this thing's going to halt on the downside and I do not want to get stuck in that. So that's what kept me from buying down there. I would have had a 135 average or 134, 135 average if I would have. And then boom, that would have been a good green trade. I'm just not trusting myself in my trades. On that second backup trade where I can add one time, I'm still not trusting myself even though I have the good stats for it. Where usually it, no matter what, I'll get out for break even. But worst case scenario, my, my loser is going to be at my max risk. You know what I mean? That's why Sometimes I don't want to stretch it down that far. So that's why it causes me uh, to fumble in that situation. Because I would have ended up losing about 10 bucks in this trade. If I would have added to my trade, then my risk would have had to would have had to been down here at the 125. And that would have been a hundred shares with a 10 cent risk would have been 10 bucks. And I just did not want to accept that. When I know this is a good trade for myself, you know what I mean? I know it's a good trade, but I just, I know it works out more times than it doesn't. More than 50% of the time, it's going to be at least a, a flat even trade. More, more than that, actually a lot more. There's IFMK moving a little bit. IFMK. IFMK, yeah. V U Z Y V U Z Y C T R M breakout ninety cents V U Z I lower highs looks like another squeeze yeah it does look like another squeeze it's gonna have to make it right here it's definitely gonna have to make it see right where it is see that trend line right here if it gets through this trend line a lot of people are gonna start looking at this look at that if it gets through that boom it's gonna power right on through right on through ma'am. If it can get through there, I should probably add to my position here, add to a little winner there, but I'm not, just not. So who knows, who knows what's going to happen, 139. OPK got me, yeah, OPK is a tough one, OPK. And look at GLBS, I really want to look at this real quick, GLBS. Look at the drop, fake, and pop, boom. The drop, fake, and pop, boom, right there, 85. Look at right into that consolidation period right here, drop, fake, and pop, boom. The pop would be up towards the dollar, and the boom would be over this high a day right there. The boom would be over the high a day. Look at that. Look at that. Drop, fake, and pop, boom. Drop, fake, and pop, boom, man. Drop fake and pop boom. Maybe I'll let it come down. If it will come down a little bit further, maybe 78 cents. That would be a little bit too far though. Maybe just a little bit too far. 139. Let's see what's happening here. Come on, man. CTRM. Robert Lamb says CTRM up into resistance right now. Let's look at that one. CTRM also. CTRM. Man, GLBS was a good, good one right there. See, man, now there's a couple trades happening. A couple trades I notice. At least the way I look at the market, I see a couple trades on how I look at the market. But... 
Boom, look at that. CTRM all the way up to 98 cents. Look at that curl right there, right from the bottom. That's what I thought LJPC was going to do, but who knows? Who knows what that's going to do? CTRM, not trading that one though, but that one looks that one looks pretty good. Here's a uh, VUZI. Is this one going to push? Is it going to make it, man? How high can this go? Let's look back here again. It can get it can get up to the dollar fifties, the dollar fifties, dollar sixties, and then two dollars. Is it going to make it that far? I don't know if it has that much power today, though. Look at all that all that selling that day and all the buying today. Maybe this is just shorts covering and they're going to start re-adding in right here around the dollar fifty. Those probably start re-adding all the way into the two dollars maybe or something. Because look at that. Just trending down, down, and down. So 175 right there. 175, 20, 10, 20. Man, I got to look at this. To drop, fake, and pop, boom. So your next profit target is going to be up towards the 96 cents. 97, 98, probably 98 cents right there. 98. So we'll see if this will squeeze a little bit further. I, I really don't see it squeezing too much further, but it, it could give one little push up here. Hopefully it gives one little push. I'm going to keep my, my stop super tight now, though. So I'm either just losing a little or not. CTRM, GLBS. Man, why did I not see those? There it is. There's CTRM down there. Is that 91 cents? CTRA. So, so the market, we were patient in the market. And there were a couple good quick little moves right away. But... 93 so glbs and vuzi i think this one had one of the cleanest moves you could have bought that breakout right there towards there boom man there were a couple good trades on there to me glbs what is happening can this get over the dollar 44 this time if this gets over the dollar 44 it's going to be a good situation Ship starting E E E S E A not yet E S E A not yet. So it looks like V U Z I is going to be a good short sell at some point. I'm not sure as a day trade short sell, but it could be a good day trade short sell too. But it's going to need to push a little bit higher. Hopefully, this can push into the dollar seventy five, the dollar eighty five. That would be super nice if it did that for me. Dollar forty, dollar eighty, so four eight eight bucks. I could probably make my day green if I get up towards a dollar seventy five, dollar seventy five, dollar eighty right there. So GLBS, I'm gonna keep an eye on this one again for a second. GLBS. Trending down, lower high. Still looks like it could come up there, but we're going to have to see. We will see what goes on there. This thing's been having a hard time getting through this 143, this 144 spot. If it gets through that spot, it's probably going to do a breakout right there. Breakout, 10 shares, 5 shares. Forty three, forty three, forty two, forty two. We'll see what happens here. Man, I wish I would have added right there. I got so freaked out it was going to go into a halt right there. So I just didn't know the stock market, the spy, is basically going sideways. It looks like LJPC is going to maybe do the VWAP test because it did hold above the low lows. The, the low of the day was down by, I think it was down by 407 or something. So it made a little bit higher low right there. So it, LJPC could be maybe a good one. 20 shares, 20 shares, ESCA. Let's go. Maybe I should just hold on to this one, PSCE. I always sell too early, but I like to take my profits along the way here. Thank you guys for hanging out. Joe Quinn, Joe Quinn, Darren Alone, Ricardo, Nightcrawler in Motion, Robert, Michael Purves, Nightcrawler in Motion. All you guys, thank you. Bali, Bala, good to see you. Kevin, oh, I sold some of my shares. 
Hopefully it can get through this 144 right here. This 144, come on, man, get through there. Get up to the dollar 80s. Get up to the dollar 80s, man. I think uh, towards the dollar 80, the two dollars, they may start trying to step on top of this thing. But in between that little price right there, I see some good action. Some good action, man. Dollar 43, dollar 44. Morning, everyone. Axel Hot, good to see you, man. <laughs> Good to see you. Man, I'm pushing on this one. ESEA going now. Darren alone says ESEA is moving. So there's a lot of good stocks. There's a lot of good information being told here. There were a couple good trades. We had to wait a little bit. The market was a little bit shaky. They didn't know if that thing was going to drop right at the market open and just continue down, down, and down. Or they didn't know if it was going to go up. They didn't know what was going to happen. So... Once the market kind of stabilized itself right there, it's not really stable, it's still on shaky terms, but it stabilized. Then a couple stocks started making little moves here. Look at this, making little, little moves right here. Let's go, let's get up there. Nicely shared, thanks man. All shippers getting some attention. V-U-Z-I, high a day breakout to the dollar 80s. That's what I'm pulling for, Paul to Paul. That's my profit target is up there, a dollar 80s. I don't want to limit myself, but $1.80 looks like my profit target. Let's go. Let's go. TOS was looking a little weird too, man. Here we go. $1.47, $1.48. Come on. Get up there. $1.50. Can it get through the $1.50? Can it get through the $1.50? What? Oh. Man, I was trying to put my order in at $1.49, but I messed up a little bit. For that little uh, fake out breakout right there, $1.49. Come on, get up there. Get up there. $1.49. Actually, I'm moving it to $1.48. I'm just not, I'm going to rip myself out of a penny, but I'm going to sell five more shares at $1.48. There we go. I have 10 shares left. I'm going to try to hold it up towards the dollar 80. If it can get up there, I'm not going to let this go red on me now. So I'm going to get out for break even on my other shares if I do. I want to see this push up towards the dollar 60 and then come use the dollar 50 as support, do a pullback into this dollar 47. So it looks like the volume needs to get bigger here. See the volume? The buyers need to keep stepping in here. This thing is having a hard time. TOS, Kevin Edel, BXC, BXC, Kevin says, Kevin Edel, Edeler, Edeler, uh-oh, 140, 140, 140, 143, man, what a breakout, fake out breakout, man. 139, yeah, look at that. Fake out. This is what I thought it was going to do back here. I thought it was going to do this fake out breakout, but it came down there. This could have been a great green trade. I, I'm really loving my trading. I'm just not loving what I'm doing personally in my setups. I know I know what the stock's going to do. I know what it can do. I know what it may do. I know what it might do. I know what it could do. It's just I'm not... I'm not playing the game. You know what I mean? I'm not playing the game right. I'm still I'm still hesitating when I should there should be no hesitation. I should be like the terminator. I'm ready to go. My hands raised and my hand stays raised, but I, I'm still my hands raised, but I'm I'm just hoping it they don't pick me. You know what I mean? I'm still hoping they don't pick me, but I my hand is raised and it's staying raised. I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. As I'm talking, you guys know I'm talking to myself. I'm trying to get in the game. Get in the game, coach. Get in the game, coach, man. No fear. Nightcrawler emotion. No fear. I Yeah, if I would have had no fear, I would have had 100 shares. I would have doubled down my shares at $1.50. And then, boom, I would have took my first profit up towards $1.44. Boom, boom, boom. No mercy, man. <laughs> no mercy. That's exactly right. No mercy. That's, that's how I need to... Uh, Run this, man. No mercy. 
GLBS is down by it. No love, man. No love, no mercy. <laughs> the stock market, that, that's what you're talking about. Nightcrawler Emotion says the stock market has no love. No mercy, no nothing, man. You got to get your money. You got to tell the stock market what to do. Or actually, you can't tell the stock market what to do. But you got to get in where you fit in. You know what I mean? You got to get in where you fit in, man. Get in where you fit in. And we're going to make it. We're going to get there. I'm happy with how I'm basically trading today. GLBS, I'm very disappointed in that trade. VUZI, I'm basically really disappointed in that trade also because this should have been GLBS and VUZI should have been great green trades. LJPC, I'm basically it wasn't really my fault, but it still was my fault. I understand my computer was laggy, so I shouldn't have accepted that risk. And I got in, got out, so that was basically all my fault. And a couple CODX trade was basically my fault also because I'm taking boredom trades. And my LJPC, just all my boredom trades just do not pay off. Good Friday. Oh, good Friday. Oh, I need to tell you guys something. I'm very sorry. I'm not going to be able to come for power hour. I have to I, I have things to do. I'm getting some stuff for my bunker, man. I have to get stuff for my bunker today. My bunker, I'm going to be locking down. I may be trading from the bunker soon if if the coronavirus doesn't go and go away. <laughs> I'm going to be a bunker. I'm going to be the monkey bunker trader, man. <laughs> My TOS had the charts out of sync for a while. Sold the rest of VUZI. Not feeling it. Yeah, not feeling it, man. Me too. Me too, actually. I'm selling the rest of mine also. That thing. Is this thing going to go up or is it going to go down? From the trees to underground. Yeah, eventually, who knows? Maybe I could, I, I don't know. I'm going to build all sorts of crazy weird stuff around here. <laughs> crazy weird stuff. You guys will know where to go when you come to my party at my house. You're going to go, whoa, what the heck is that? Is he ready for war or what? <laughs> is he ready for war? From the trees to the underground. My store was being ransacked last night. Yeah, I, I, I save up good. I save up beans, rice. I, you know, I save up all the stuff. I have a lighter. Click, click. I have all the, all the stuff to survive for a while. All the stuff to survive. Just in case of a pandemic, you never can tell what's going to happen. Here we go. 148. Come on, get up over this 150, man. It's going to have to get up over the 150 this time. If it does not get up over the 150 this time, I'm going to have a hard problem holding on to this. Hmm, JCP. <laughs> My store was being ransacked. Let's go. Let's go. In the next three or four minutes, it needs to hold up here. It needs to hold at least above the $1.43. The $1.43. Can you believe this was almost a huge red trade? Too late to buy VUZI. I, I'm not sure, Jesse. I I basically think it. Uh, to me, I, I don't think I would buy. The only trade some people may take is that breakout trade, maybe above the 150, up to the 158, 159, 160 maybe. Or maybe you wait for it to get above the 150s come back and use as support and then buy and then sell on the way up. I think it has room up to the 180s, the $2, but I don't know if it's even going to get that high. I think there's going to be a lot of short sellers just waiting. I, I think they're just waiting for this to get up a little bit higher and then they're going to slam it right on down, man. GLBS. I got to look at this real quick. GLBS. The drop, fake, and pop, boom. You guys see me take this. It did not work out. It basically worked out a little bit. Just didn't work out that much. Remember to always trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Maybe you see an entry around here or something. I don't see an entry. It's just not something I would take. My entry would have been back. If I wouldn't have been in right here, my next entry would have been right here at the $1.38, $1.39 level. That would have been my next entry. And then I would have looked for that push up towards high a day. And I would have sold at $1.46 right there. I just don't, don't know, man. 
don't know. I'm about to get out of this myself right here. I'm about to get out. Maybe I'll get out five more shares. Five more shares. Anyways, this is going to be a small losing trade no matter how I look at it. So, so I'm just going to hold on. I'm going to try to hold on to my profit target, which is a 180. 180 mark. IBIO is getting a bounce. Where is, oh, IBIO is at $1.50. Trying to get above. Oh, this is looking, what is happening? Monkey, you should uh, stock salt and vinegar also for preserving. That's a great idea, Zona J. I do, I do have salt. I do have sugar. Vinegar, yeah, I believe. I'm not real sure. It, some of that stuff is so old in there. I, I have stuff so old I've been saving. Some of those things that will last a, forever, your whole life. Some of this stuff will last 20, 40 years, man. So... So you can really start collecting. Some of this stuff lasts a hundred years. You can get. I I I just like to be prepared. I, I it's just a little thing I like to do. Who know? It, I'm not I'm not a a prepper. Not a prepper per se. Not like the real deal preppers. <laughs> Old me too. Used all my trades up. Just chilling with you all. Good luck, everyone. Hacks a lot. Yep, man. Look at this thing. Forty six. Forty six. I'm I'm getting out of this or no. I'm I'm gonna wait. I I'm gonna let I'm just gonna put my stop right down here at a dollar forty. Dollar forty. If I, I should put my stop down by below a dollar thirty eight, or I should just keep my stop at a dollar forty two. Dollar forty two, a dollar forty three. Here we go. I'm gonna draw this trend line right here and we'll see if it's gonna come back above this. Is it gonna make it? Is it going to make it? Hopefully it bounces right there and I can use this as that. But who knows if this is even going to bounce. This is not valid. It may break down right below that. That's not valid. Not valid at all. Here it is right here. Boom. On the next pivot point to me. Man, it's just looking so t kind of weak right there. Yes, rotate the grub. Rotate, oh, rotate your food out. That's some swamp chicken. <laughs> well, well, you guys know I have, uh, I have chickens. I have goats. I have, uh, I used to have pigs. I don't have pigs anymore, but I used to have pigs. I, man, I should have got out of this, but one forty-five. I'm getting out of this. I don't trust this. I just don't trust it. Look at that. That that was the top. The fake out breakout. Or is it going to look at there? There's some people covering or something's going on right there. Bunker stack with guns, ammo, and food. I won't be taken by the Walking Dead zombies, aka Corona. <laughs> smoked bacon. Yeah, smoked bacon is the best, man. <laughs> smoked bacon. My poor pig, my last pig I had. Oh man, I feel so bad for my pig. I had to, uh, oh man, my pig. Pigs are smart. Pigs are really smart. They're like three-year-old kids, man. Pigs are smart. I, I will never have pigs again. They're too smart. They're too friendly. They're too nice. They break my heart, man. When, when they look at you in the eyeballs and they know it's time, it, it's not a good scene. Not a good scene, man. Not good at all. Prepped and since the return of the living dead, do you have meekness? Do you have, yes, I'm very meek. I'm very meek, meek, and meek. MLMA, every time I come back in here, you're talking about raccoons, chickens, pigs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well well that's what uh, they're my friends man they are my friends don't tell you eat the pig monkey don't tell you eat the pig yeah i'm not even gonna open i'm not gonna say it man i i can't the my my best pig it was a big old black pig man he was my best friend he was my best friend he he waited for me he did he knew me he could smell me from a mile away that damn pig could smell me from a mile away when I came down there, he, he knew I was coming every single time. He knew it, man. He knew. He he wasn't scared of me. He was nothing. And then that last day, his last day with me on the earth, actually, his last day with me on the earth, he looked at me. How could you, man? How could you do it? I'm about to cry right now. <laughs> 
my poor pig, man. My poor freaking pig. Oh well, that that's the life of living on living with animals. If you're gonna eat your animals, that's the life, man. One of the one of the smartest animals on earth. Did you roast a pig? I did. The pig is roasted, man. <laughs> Just fish, dude. Makes baskets and trout lines. <laughs> yeah. Zona J. I think I would rather stick to fishing, man. Love BLTs. Yeah. Beautiful animal. Pigs are smart, man. My dash hounds eat a lot. They are a. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it, man. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. That poor pig. Oh, well, that that's the life. That's life. Pigs get slaughtered. You guys know that. You guys heard that in the stock market. Don't be a pig. Even though pigs are super smart, don't be a pig, man. Pigs get slaughtered. Pigs get slaughtered. <laughs> I swear I had the same situation when I was about eight. I learned about the cycle of life. Auto links. Yeah. Man, stop killing animals. It it, it ain't about it's a, if you're gonna eat meat, you you're gonna know where your food came from, but I would rather go buy it down at the store myself. Bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Boom, boom, boom. Stock hedgehog, you said it right there. That is the truth right there. Stock Hedgehog said it, made it, did it. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, Track Racer 22 Welcome to the channel. You couldn't have came to a better place. What you're seeing from your very eyes is my one-minute chart, five-minute chart, 15-minute chart, level two, time and sales, and this is my active trader where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. Thank you for subscribing. We are on the right track, man. Today, it looks like I'm going to end up red on the day again. Red on the day again, but that that's okay. Uh, today, the stock market just has not been good. Oh, uh, thank you, uh, Nano Nano Vis Visids. Welcome to the channel. You couldn't have came to a better place where you're seeing from your very eyes. Is my one minute chart, five minute chart, 15 minute chart, level two, time and sales. This is my active trader where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you guys for being here. Oh, there you are, ben ben Benetech. Benetech, very terrible name. Benetech, very cool. Sorry, I, I sometimes I butcher names. You guys know I do not have the best vocabulary at all, but that's okay. I'm learning new vocabulary words each and every week. So far throughout this live stream, the words we have learned, I'm going to say them one more time just so we can try to keep remembering them, is sedulous, mollify, persnickety, incessant, boondoggle, autodidact, plenitude, adherence, scintillating, and coterie. Coterie is the last word. And coterie, you guys know what that means. Let me put it down in the chat. Coterie is, uh, where is Mike at? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know where Mike's at. Man, I, I'm getting out of this. Look at this trend line right here. If I stretch out this trend line to the right, look where it just came up to, and it just uh, failed again. It looks like this could be the backside of the move right here from a dollar fifty. Looks like it may just go down. I don't really see a lot of volume right here. I I really don't see a lot of anything. So it looks like who knows? Maybe I'll wait a little bit longer. But a dollar forty, I'm gonna stop out. A coterie, a group of people who associate closely, an exclusive group, click. Monkey army, don't stop, can't stop, won't stop. Won't stop, don't stop, can't stop. Where is it? Zona J, so sad, man. My poor pig, man. My pig, my best pig, too. My best, best pig. Best pig, I'll never forget him. Rest in peace, rest in peace, but he, he's fine. He's, he's in a better place now. He's in a better place right now. Just need V-U-Z-I to go up a little more. Yeah, me too. What is going on with this thing? Look at that. The last, if you draw this trend line to the upside right there, it's, it looks like it's breaking down. It's actually trying to break down, but uh, remove drawing. But he tasted so good. <laughs> he tasted so good. Yeah, he's not wasted. He's not wasted. More like rest in peace. <laughs> 
J Rod, how man, J Rod, yeah, more like rest in pieces. IBIO is at that dollar fifty. It's still, it's still trying to hold at the dollar fifty. It's at a dollar fifty one now. It did come down a little bit further to a dollar forty six, but it's, it's trying to move up a little bit. Trump declares national emergency. Darren, oh man, I, I messed up. Look at that breakdown. Look at this breakdown. I tell myself I will not sell on a quick move down like this, but I'm going to put my order out to sell at 140. That's where I want to get out at is 140 right there. Man, look at that. So sold, sold right on down, right on down. 140. I, I never try to sell on one of those quick pops down. I realized I used to do that all the time is just sell super quickly. And I would always get filled at the very, very bottom. Now I realize that and I, I said, okay, now I can get a better fill. But if it continues to go down, I will have to stop out. I will have to stop out on the bottom there. Boom, boom, boom. 38, 38, 39. Look at that. 35 and below 35 i will have to stop out below 35 Vuzi will be good swing if the news has some merit boom 36 37 38 38 i'm gonna put my order to sell at 38 if this comes down a little bit further 38 i will sell out of this 38 38 I will sell the spread very big when it flashed down. Yeah, the spread was so big when it flashed down right there Hopefully I can get filled right here. See how it dropped a couple more I should have seriously I should have stopped out when it came down there But I know the VWAPs down there who knows this could be the time it's going back up Maybe I'll hold on for a little bit longer if it gets back up to a dollar 40 and it does not get through the dollar 40 and then it comes down below this dollar 34. I will definitely stop out. Definitely stop out. Maybe I should. Man, man, I'm just pushing my luck. I'm not even trading my plan or planning my trades anymore. I'm just letting them go. Soon as it came down like this and it did not bounce, I should have I should have sold right there at 135, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. <clears throat> 135, 135, 134, man, just tough, 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 very big. Boozy will be good swing if the news. My, Mike is very close, Doc Hedgehog, <laughs> ate him while crying. <laughs> yeah, pigs get slaughtered, ain't that the truth, man? 36, 36, 37, 38. 38. Trade your plan and plan your own trade. <laughs> yeah, just trade your plan and plan your own trade. See how it bounced there? But sometimes it will come down for two minutes in a row. But if it happens to come too far, you have to stop out. But every single stock it almost bounces like this. AIM is going up. Man, I should have sold there again. $1.37. $1.37. I'm actually going to sell at $1.37. If it gets back to $1.37, I'm going to get out of this. Get out. $1.34, $1.36. Did you make money today, Trader Parker 13? Stock hedgehog. <laughs> You're selling yourself on the stock. I, I I know I, I I need to I I I know it's right down by my drop fake and pop boom but it's just looking so weak to me IBIO is pushing now IBIO is pushing I'm I'm actually gonna get out right here a dollar thirty six a dollar thirty six IBIO is pushing it looks like it can push up to the VWAP. IBIO and AIM is pushing a little bit also. IBIO. I did actually not a lot, but watching now, it's a rocky picture right now. Yeah. My trading today was just straight. Every single trade was basically boredom trading, except for VUZI and GLBS. Sure, it's easy to say that after the fact, but IBIO. What is going on? Fill me there. So uh, IBIO. I B I O. I B I O, man. V U Z I. 
We use the I. Come on. I'm going to have to step it down one to 135. 135, I will sell at 135 now. At least it's still right within my range. It's five, it, it was five cents worse than it was. If I was going to scoop up a stock anywhere, on if if it, if it was I would I would buy right here on VUZI looks like a great spot to scoop it up and then there's room up towards the dollar 42 but it, it's just look at the volume I, I'm not going to do that anymore I'm, I'm done I'm done today today I ended up losing one one thousand six hundred nine dollars i ended up losing six dollars five dollars and 85 cents again so two days in a row i've lost five dollars six dollars five six dollars a i m a i m yeah a i m is also pushing a i m actually looks a little bit better than i b i o to me and look at g l b s look at this Look at that on the five minute chart. That is such a clean setup right there by that 75 cents right there. Where was that? Oh, right here. Look at that. Right there was a good entry. Good, good entry. Easy to see after the fact. So anyways, I hope you guys, I'm sorry that I won't be able to come back for power hour today, but we'll be back on Monday bright and early. The stock market's been super tough and look at the stock market right now. It's going down. Look at it. The SPY. Look at this. This is just not a good situation. Not, not good. Not, not good, man. That there's my trend line right there. My trend line on the monthly chart is right down towards 246. If this thing gets down below the 245s again, down below the low, the 240s, this thing, how low is this thing going to go? This It could be going way, way, way down. Way down until they solve the coronavirus. But after the coronavirus, when are you going to get in? Where will you get in on some of these bigger cap stocks that have sold off so much? Like 50% of their moves, they sold down. They're definitely going to rebound. But are you going to get in today? Are you going to wait till next week? Are you going to wait till the week after that? When will you start swing trading for the long side? That is the question. Can you answer that question? Well, we're day traders here, but I mean, if you were swing trading or longer term investing, when would you get in? Uh, Trump announcing CV at 3 p.m. Start going in with small size. Have a great weekend, Monkey Darren alone. It's always good to be here with you guys every day. If you guys could, please hit the like button. You know, YouTube loves it and I love it too. We're growing each and every day. The bigger we get, the better, the more stuff we're going to be able to do. So if you've not subscribed to the channel, you might as well subscribe to the channel. Left 2K on the table on TSLA. Oh, I had that one on my watch list this morning also, man. Oh, that was down. TSLA. GPR. GPR. LMPX. Just nothing. The stock market. Oh, I, I didn't have my... Oh, no wonder I didn't have my right one up here. Low float momentum. No wonder I wasn't seeing what was going on. I could not see what was going on because of that right there. So, <sighs> C-O-D-X. Ten twenty one, ten twenty one, ten dollars, ten dollars bounced a little bit. Is it gonna bounce again right here? C O D X, man, this looks like to me. This looks like an okay play right here. Trump will make things worse as usual. Disney is closing Sunday and their stock is sinking. Another future bounce play. Yes, Ron Ria, Disneyland has been around forever. If you don't think that thing's rebounding, uh, that Disney is going to rebound. Is that going to be, when is that going to be a good swing trade? When is that going to be a good long-term investment? What day? What week? When are we going to start looking for that? When will we look for that, ma'am? When the 5% plus move stops, then choose proven companies. Paul DeBald says, when the 5 plus move stops then choose a company apple by disney apple by disney rumors spinning man trump need to self trump needs to self-quarantine 
<laughs> Trump needs this whole quarantine. The President of the United States. Who knows? Maybe he'll go into quarantine. Maybe. You never know, man. You never know. Maybe he will. Maybe he will. We'll have to see what's going on. He needs to make a better speech. He needs to talk about moving forward. Trump 2020, Adelie says. <laughs> day trading live, low float, small cap, basically penny stocks every single day from 9 a.m. till noon. Day trading live. Day trading live, man. I'm trying to look. At, there may be one more play. If they're storm traders, good to see you, storm traders. If Trump gets it, the market will be mayhem. Mark my words, we could face the biggest crash in our lifetime i know storm traders i seriously need to open a, a account with something maybe i should push through a trade net account and start trading short selling with them guys but i'm saving for a cmeg account soon as i get to three thousand dollars in my think or swim account i'm going to open a cmeg account impressive impressive good time to buy glbs again let's look at it glbs glbs let me look on the one minute see what it did right here it went up it went up higher now it's coming all the way back in let, let me blow this out um who knows this one could still have a move in it today who knows this could be a good spot i don't know it, to me, I would call this the VWAP test trade. It still is above the open price. It is below the VWAP. A lot of people say if it's below the VWAP, it's bearish. If it's above the VWAP, it's bullish. That's an easy way kind of to tell, but I don't know. To me, it looks like it's coming right down on the support, down by the 56, 55 cent spot. Boom, all the way back up to 80. Who knows, this one This one does look good. This is the best stock for me looking for an afternoon move. But let's look at VUZI also. VUZI, the, to me, this looks like the backside of the move here and it's just gonna keep coming down. It, the last, the, the worst case scenario, this thing pushes to a dollar, or the best case scenario, this thing pushes to a dollar 86 or two dollars and there's going to be a lot of short sellers up there but it looks like they they short sold right there but it doesn't really look like there's a lot of buying or selling tell you the truth so i don't know i don't know i, I the market today the volume it's impossible for me to read the volume there's there's so much more money in the low float land right now i think some of those bigger places are starting to pull money and starting to just I don't know what's going on, actually. You rock. Thank you for your help, Michael Tijeri. You're, you're welcome, man. It's good to see you, Michael. Sam Chin, Tesla may go to $10. <laughs> Let's look at Tesla and see where that's at. Let's check it out, man. Check it out, Tesla. So AYTU is at $136. AIM, is it going to bounce off the $3? I don't know. It came up close to that VWAP and it's going down. T. T Tesla Tesla T S L A T S L A and uh, not A N you you can short with C Meg but you can't I I mean not every single stock but there's a lot of stocks you're gonna have to pick and choose you can find shares to borrow but I'm not gonna do that if there are shares to short that's where I will short but right now there's probably not a lot of shares to short because everybody's gobbling them up right now. Any stock, you might as well look for a short sell right now. You know what I mean? For the short-term day trading. But anything to do with the coronavirus, I look for a long trade because that's the only opportunities in the stock market. TSLA, let's look at this, man. This thing's all the way. This thing's still up. The last time I seen this, I think it was at 300. 300. Look how far this, this one's probably going to come all the way. This looks like a good short sell to me. Tesla, man, there's a lot of money on the short side on this thing. Still, even though it looks like it came down quite a bit, I think there's still money on the short side on this thing. Man, there could be some more money. Man, I'm I'm frozen a little bit in time again. Mr. Knife, everything is on SSR. Oh, everything is on SSR. Short sell restriction. It went almost a thousand last month. 
Yeah, Tesla Tesla's always going to be a good company. I started this morning, last week, and the week before that. Good job. Yeah, Tesla, lots of money. This is like an obvious, obvious, obvious short sell. It is not going to be able to hold up. That You know what I mean? Man, this would have been a beautiful one for TradeNet. Tell you the truth, I think you can short sell Tesla with TradeNet. Man, that would have been a good one. You know how much money you could make on something like this? A lot of money. But now today, look how many red days. It's just been red, red, red. It may get a little bounce somewhere in here. If it bounced up back up to the 550, man, this is... I, well, maybe we'll look at this one on Monday and see if there's going to be an opportunity for a short sell on it. Maybe there is right now, but to me, it's kind of, I don't know where I would short sell right now, but who knows? Who knows what this is? Sold 500 TSL puts, rolled to $400 puts. Good job, man. You are killing it. Killing it, killing it, killing it. There was this morning. That's what I should do. Man, Anthony, Anthony has a... Uh, I need to get my options trade out there. I need to trade. Maybe I should start trading some options during this tough time in the stock market. I'm going to really look into, maybe I'll start, or no, this is a small account for day trading low flow small cap stocks, but I will trade an options trade. I'm going to next week. <laughs> I smell lies. <laughs> I have to stick to my game plan. My game plan is to make $1 million day trading low flow small cap stocks. Should I switch and run over to options? Should I go and run over to futures? Should I go to larger cap stocks? Why would I do that when I have a good game plan, when I have good strategies? I don't want to be jumping all over the place because, oh, it looks easier over here. Go over here. Run over here. Run over there. Well, you might as well learn one thing and learn it good. You know what I mean? I just don't want to be jumping all over. But I will take an options trade. I definitely will take an options trade. C-O-T-Y. C-O-T-Y is coming down. Look at that one. Boom. All these stocks. Uh, such obvious short sales. It's easy to see after the fact. But you know that's why we're not trading none of these low flow small cap stocks very rarely to the long side because anytime something pops up it just goes right back down look at the spy it's getting ready to, it's going down 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 and down and down r h o also o i l d was good as well instead of of trade net trade options to get short penny stocks play better in a financial crisis Regular stocks not worth buying. Yeah, regular stocks, they're just, or larger cap stocks are so many short sales. Any any stock, man, beautiful. Listen to me, don't change your trading style. Options is a different beast. You will lose all your money if you don't know what you are doing. Options is like penny stocks, but you lose, er you, you have everything in. You bet George Soros is shorting the hell out of the market. <laughs> I'm stuck in GLBS as a swing trade. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks, Trading Monkey, for your expertise. Thank you, Valerie Ann Williams. I think GLBS, that one, does have the best possibility to come up to me. It has the volume. It looks like it could still make a move today. It could go up. But who knows? Maybe it's just going to keep coming down also. You know that. All these fake out breakout plays are hard. Yeah, did you see the little fake out breakout even on uh, VUZI? That was just a baby little breakout. AYTU, just garbage, garbage today. Garbage, 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 man. Options often stuck when it's moving fast. At first, when the coronavirus, everybody was still, <clears throat> still not even sure about it and stuff and the market was crashing and crashing, there was still a lot of opportunity in low full small cap stocks because of the coronavirus stocks. Any stock that had to do with the coronavirus, there was going to be a play on it. But now that the coronavirus really starts sinking into the stock market, there's nothing. There's just nothing no more. The last couple of days, there really has not been nothing too good. 
you know what I mean? Until the next stock that's going to make headlines is probably going to be a low-fold stock that has uh, made a vaccine for the coronavirus, or maybe it's a larger cap stock, some stock that has made a move, and then we're going to see a shift. Boom, the shift will start coming again. Hopefully that happens very soon. Hopefully very soon. Right now, I just don't see a lot of plays even going into next week on low-fold small cap stocks in the stock market. Unless you can short sell the stock market, I don't see a lot of moves. I just don't. All of them today. You will lose everything in a day. You only put in what you want to lose. Can't lose anything more than you put in. The only options trade I'm going to take is the one Anthony. Anthony's going to tell me what options. Even if it doesn't work out, I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy fifty dollars worth of contracts, and it's going to be. Uh, maybe it's only one contract. Maybe it's more than one, but about fifty dollars worth of contracts. Or maybe I won't even be able to afford one. Maybe I'll put it up to a hundred dollars, somewhere between fifty and a hundred dollars. So. I, I'm green. I'm green. 100. Don't miss. Oh, there it is. Boom. Buy low open interest penny options, but you haven't studied for. Uh, yeah. Stock Hedgehog. Actually, I have. Whoa. What's this? The Learning Center now. <laughs> I opened up the Learning Center. Actually, Stock Hedgehog. Yes. Yes. The options. I am learning, man. I'm learning it, learning it, and learning it. But I'm a slow learner. I, I have to really I have to really get know what I'm looking for. But I don't know. MRNA. Look at this one. I, I thought MRNA was going to be one of the stocks that would head up. I think Trump offered these people some money to solve the coronavirus or gave them, you know, they're in that spending bill right there. But who knows what's happening with this one? This one actually looks like a good maybe bounce play down here. Look at this. Two year one day. This one has a little bit higher flow. Look at look at uh MRNA. Look look where this is at right now. This is in a good in a pretty good spot for a bounce up to twenty one dollars. MRNA. What should I take a a trade on this? Eighteen eighty four twenty. Look at AIM just dropped like a rock right there. Oh, I wanted it to pull back a little bit, right to the nineteen fifties. If it would pull back to the nineteen fifties, I would buy two shares of this. Nineteen fifties, I will buy two shares of this stock right here. We'll we'll see what happens. Where you learn options, I, I learned by studying the stock market. There's a lot of great videos on options. There's a lot, there's so much uh, on the internet, you can pretty much learn anything. Before the internet, it was there, you had to learn it by doing it. Now, now the internet teaches you everything. The internet is gold. The internet is definitely, definitely gold. 975, 952. Why don't I just put an order in at the 950s? Because I need to see what it's looking like. I still need to see what it's looking like. Look where this is at, though. It's a, it's probably been waiting days to get to this point. Days to get here. Maybe. Maybe it's just going to come down. Nine seventy one. I, I bought two shares at 973. Th this ain't a good trade. This is just a bottom bounce right here. I mean, I'm just taking a little bit of a bottom bounce up towards the $20, up towards $20. So we'll see what happens. What the heck happened to OPK? Let, let's go look at it. MRNA. Where is my MRNA? OPK. OPK. Where is OPK? OPK, look at that thing. All the way down, man. All the way down. MRNA. MRNA, man. Come on. 
I lost my butt on options. No thanks. <laughs> Bryce says, no thanks. No thanks on options, man. No thanks on options. Twenty. 2017, 2017, 21, 21, 21. Okay, I'm just staying a little bit longer. Sometimes I take a trade right here, 1931. 1931 is going to be my risk. Got to learn you can leverage a small account of money and turn into big bucks. I need to start I need to start sizing in, but the coronavirus has me kind of just hesitating until until the market can kind of just settle down. The coronavirus can really start uh coming back. Coming back, ma'am. 73 keep learning Bryce he has he has not you went to the library or did an apprenticeship under somebody else have you ever done an options trade have I ever done an options trade I I'm going to do an options trade I will do an options trade very very soon very very soon look at GLBS look at this one GLBS coming back up. Whoever was going to swing trade this one, this one looked like a good one. Look at that, man. Look at that. So there's the VWAP test. If you can, this is the best stock for the day, actually, right there. Right, right there. MRNA. I got to stay with this one, though. MRNA. Who is Umar? Hedgehog, do you follow Umar? Who is Umar? Mo Monkey, can I please see your study settings? Oh, my studies? I, all I have for studies, this, this purple line on my chart is the VWAP. The blue line on my chart is the 9 EMA. And on my 5-minute chart, I also put the 20 EMA, which is in a yellow solid line. And the red line on my chart is the 200 simple moving average. The 200 simple moving average and I use that for the daily only. So I, I put it up there because sometimes I switch this one over to the daily when I'm looking at stuff. So the, the red line is that. that. Those are all my studies right there. That's all I use is that. And I actually made a video. If you look up how to set up Thinkorswim for day trading, I actually have all my settings set on that basically. And I think, so the purple line's my VWAP, the 9 EMA is the blue line, and up here, the yellow is the 20. Th those are all my studies. And Oh, and this study up here, I found this off the internet, actually, and it's a, it's a volume, it's a volume indicator. He made 140K in a day and a few more 100K days. <laughs> you believe that, man? That's crazy. We're going to get there. We're going to make it. We got this. So I'm just staying in the stock market a little bit longer today, or not really a little bit longer. Since I cannot come back for power hour, I'm just going to stay a few more minutes after uh, noon right now. Good for him. Good for him. Man, what is going on right here? 21. Maybe this ain't going to go nowhere. I should, man, what am I doing taking this trade again? Taking this trade, 1931. 1931, 1931, man, get up there, come on, come on, maybe this is going straight down, we'll have to see, I cannot believe GLBS is going up, and LJPC, I thought it was going to do the VWAP test there, I would have took that trade, and I would have put my stop right below that 406, $4, and it already came all the way down there. I haven't had 100K days yet, but I have had many 25K, 15K, 16, 10K, and boatloads of 1 to 10K days. I cannot wait to get there. Soon as this coronavirus gets out of our blood here, we're going to really start making moves. I'm going to step up. I'm going to be taking 100 shares, 60 shares, 50 shares, 40 shares. Man, what is going on? 31, 31, 31. Boom. 1930. We'll see what happens right here. I, I thought it was getting ready to push up over this right here. Sometimes I probably should wait for it to get over the resistance, but I was looking for the push over the $20. 
Sim, do count. Sim, do count. I haven't had 100k. We are going to make it. A lot of you guys are such great, good traders already. You guys are making big, big money. Look at Stock Hedgehog making big dollars, big money. I'm very excited for the future. I know it's been, I've been a little stagnant. I, I mean, I've been stepping up lately, but I'm kind of stagnant in the market with this coronavirus. Is that an excuse? I'm I'm try, I'm still trying to find every single opportunity in the stock market, but there just isn't. Truthfully, there just is not a lot of opportunity. I mean, sim don't count. <laughs> sim don't count with the Chinese. Monkey, your work overtime today here on the live stream. Yeah, just for a few more minutes. I'm getting ready to get out of here. I just wanted to take this. I thought this was going to be a super quick trade up to $21. Or I thought at least twenty seventy three, I could get a dollar profit really quick. But who knows? Maybe it's not even going to get there. I thought I thought it was going to get up there, but we'll see. I may have to sell out of this if this does not get above this twenty eighty three. I want to pick your brains. <laughs> Thirteen market moves is crazy. I love that dude. Storm Trader says I'm a real deal trader, trading my own money. Stock Hedgehog. Trading my own money. I cannot wait for our future. We're going to build the best team around. We're going to build the best team. Our team is going to help other people. We're really going to get in there. We're going to do great stuff. And then we're going to make our money grow for us. Maybe we'll invest back in the stock market. We're really going to start exploding this straight out of the ballpark. We're going to be doing a lot of giveaways. There's a, there's a huge future for the Monkey Army. A huge, huge future. Thank you guys for hanging in there. Thank you for riding this ride with me. You guys are my friends. You guys are basically my partners. Everything. You guys are all that wrapped into one. I would not have any of this without you. What, what do I have? I have a lot of friends. I have a live stream with friends, man. <laughs> with friends. Good morning, Herms. Good to see you, man. Good morning, brother. I think the scanner it doesn't help us. I hear that more there are more scanner, but they are expensive. Yes, uh, scanners are good. I I think scanners are good, but I think uh, I I don't want to say one way or the other about scanners. You know what I mean? I just I I'm gonna show you something in the future that I'm working on, and it's gonna be something super good. The boom 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 will it will be attached to the boom boom boom. <laughs> Maybe you don't like those words, but anyways, and one of these days you're gonna hit you're gonna hear across the network CNN you're gonna hear like you know you know Howard Stern who used to go Baba Booey Baba Booey you're gonna hear Trading Monkey boom 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 you're gonna hear it on CNN mark my words <laughs> you're gonna hear it man <clears throat> you're gonna hear it you're gonna hear it from me good morning brother i think the scanner yeah scanners are good though you cannot live without a scanner basically you have to have a scanner if you're day trading low float small cap stocks i use the thinker swim free one and i get by with that for right now if i could afford a scanner i think i would get a scanner but it would have to cost <laughs> okay go 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 <coughs> Come on, man. This thing, Trade Idea Scanner. Yeah, there, there's a few scanners out there. I think GDT lives and by, dies by a scanner. I think Trade Ideas, there's a good scanner. There's a there's a lot of good scanners out there. You know what I mean? <clears throat> a lot, a lot of good scanners out there. But anyways, Finviz has a scanner. Or there, There's a lot of different scanners out there. Whatever you use, I think... You really have to be able to find a, a scanner to use. Comedy News Network, everything Trade Ideas gives you, you get for free. Yeah, there's a lot of free stuff out there on the internet now. So I don't see why you would, or I don't know, whatever happens, yes. Boom. Anything moving left around 1030 after seeing nothing with, nothing with follow through. The top stock I think is GLBS. I think that one, that one's making a move. It's doing stuff. What do I have about that one? GLBS. Actually, I don't even have that one on my list today. I don't know. Why don't I? Monkey spying the MILF scanner. <laughs> the MILF scanner. 
There, I, I only use the thinkorswim scanner. Seriously, I really do only uh, use the uh, thinkorswim scanner, and I get by just fine with that. The, the way I use it, I keep mine on mark percent change so I can see which stocks have the biggest percentage change, and then I look at the volume. I keep the volume on up and down. Whoever has the most volume, you can see the volume clicking away super fast. And that's where I run right over there and I get over there and I get over there in time to catch the stocks. If I was a short seller, I would get over there way ahead of time because usually they're still going up right in time for a great short sell also though. Man, what is happening with the stock? Dude, I know what you are watching on your other little screens. <laughs> oh my, I, I'm telling you right now, I, I have I have my charts. I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 16 charts up on my other screen. I have Streamlabs open and I have a laptop which I use for Yahoo Finance. That's it, man. And sometimes the news, I'm listening to the news. That's about it, man. <laughs> That's it. That's the truth, man. That is the absolute truth. Nothing. I would tell you. I would tell you, man. No, I'm kidding, bro. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, man. That's it. That is it. So anyways, you guys know I'm going to get out of here any minute. I was going to try to hold this one. I'm probably going to get out for a few cents profit on this. I'm, I'm just going to put my sell target right here now. I wanted to hold on to this one a little bit more, but I have to get out of here. And I am not coming back for power hour i'm sorry i try to come back for power hours on friday but today i'm not i don't think there's a lot of action going to be happening anyways but maybe i'll miss out on something but i will be back on monday 9 a.m bright and early and uh have a great weekend everyone c-t-e-k as stock hedgehogs saying c-t-e-k and if you guys have not signed up for the discord you might as well sign up for the discord there's a link in my description. And if you are going to use Webull, there's a link in my description. There's the links in my descriptions for different things in there. Keychains, everything. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Baba Booey, you are going to hit Jeff Johnson. You're going to hear trade. Instead of Baba Booey, it's going to start being trading monkey. Boom, boom, boom. Trading monkey, trading monkey. That's what I'm going to do, man. <laughs> I, I got it. I got it, man. Get the bunker ready. I am getting the bunker ready. That's exactly what I'm doing, man. Okay. Well, I'm getting out of here. Either this is going to stop me out right here at nine at the nine thirties, or I'm going to take profit up here by the twenty dollars. I'm probably just going to get out of this super quick. But anyways, I'm still in this trade. I'll see you guys later. Uh, I got to get out of here. Sam Chin, Jeff Johnson, Easel, Stock Hedgehog, Paul DeBald, Storm Traders, always good. Bat Storm, Dave, Matt. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll see you guys on Monday bright and early 9 a.m till noon every single day day trading live with thinkorswim td ameritrade all right i'm out of here five four three